Hello, and welcome back to another night of Borderlands D&D. Last session, our wonderful group of Vault Hunters was wandering around. They made it to... they had just arrived uh, at their current new town of Glacier's Rest. Meanwhile, at a simultaneous time, arriving in at the northern base of the Crimson Lance was Bertram. Both, all of them proceeding to go inside quickly, trying to get warmed up because it was cold. The group at Glacier's Rest proceeded to talk around, get some food, get some warm drinks, share a few stories, and eventually hire a guide. Trying to lead them to the, uh, what is it? Lead them to a set of runes out in the middle of... Runes. Ruins. Ruins, not runes. Ruins. Uh, out in the middle of the shifting shelf. The drifting shelf, sorry. But there was a small setback. In the middle of the night, while everybody was resting, and Bertram was on his way to the town with a couple of accompaniments and a new asset, there was a bit of an eventful moment. Everybody woke up to the sound of a very loud explosion. People shouting, be screaming, you guys all burst out the door to take a look outside and saw bully mongs were assaulting the town. <laughs> Everybody proceeded to engage to defend themselves, including defending the home that they were staying in. Until very quickly, they noticed a oversized frozen bully monk rushing through, which didn't seem as important as surviving at first until they saw that it held their guide in their hand. Trying to frantically stab his way out, everybody proceeded to engage in bully mongs on the ground, including some trying to gauge the frozen one to free your guide. Unfortunately, due to all the interactions and all the distractions, the frozen bully mong was not dealt with, and he managed to jump over the side with the guide, running off with him. As a latch ditch effort, Tanya threw herself off and fell several hundred feet down the cliff face to stab it in the back, plunging the sword all the way to the hilt, bouncing off and losing grip, unfortunately, as it kept going and running, losing their, one of their swords. Meanwhile, Bertram's group had been racing up the side of the mountain with some very well-placed driving and drifting on a very icy and uneven, a very icy and not-so-safe road surface. Arriving to the top, seeing chaos and anarchy, Bertram sent them off to scout in one way before turning invisible and running off in another direction to approach and potentially talk to Crystal and Nessa. So, we pick up in the middle of it, still chaos. Most of the bully monks are fleeing, thankfully, so it seems like the main, the main portion of the assault is over. People are picking themselves out of the rubble, out of buildings. Some were picking themselves up after getting into a fist fight with some of the several larger bully monks and small ones. I'll give everybody the current placement of Tanya. You are down, uh, Tanya is down the cliff currently trying to catch her breath from slamming in at a very high speed. Nessa and Crystal and Tex are all in the remains of the building that they have been staying in, getting themselves picked up and carried off. Uh, taken care of, I mean, not carried off. We have Barry and Schmeet both outside in the middle of, like, one of the, like, town square isn't the right term, it's not big enough for that, but down the road a little bit, having just dealt with some of the bully mongs that they had assaulted, that had assaulted them. Well, will say you guys do know Clay was running down the road. He's just down the road from Nesta and Crystal, probably 80, 85, 95 feet away. I think with that, we will hand it off to what everybody is doing. I will say for the moment, initiative is currently over. However, it could reinitiate very quickly, depending on how events go. For my part, I'm still having to initiative speed over to where I saw them as they got out of the truck. I don't know where the fuck that they've gone, but you know... I've only got a minute. i got to make it count. It works weird out of combat. It does, but go ahead. You can race over there. I say, like I said, I gave you guys the distance. If you're full on running, it'll only take one of the rounds to get there. Uh, on the run over there, I was filling up a bag of stuff. I knew exactly what was going in there last time. But it's been a minute, so if I forget something, I ask the gods for some leeway. I just saw Robert stay in the sword in the chat. <laughs> um, let's check the chat real quick, just in case you put it in Yeah, I didn't there. put that in there, I just put what was happening, because I thought we were still on in initiative. <laughs> Alright. 
Well, uh, what is everybody liking to do? No wonder I was muted. How much of Lance has actually noticed us, and how much have uh, we the noticed Lance the Lance? has not currently noticed you guys. You haven't seen the Lance because of the angle of everything the buildings are at, and they were set off in a different direction. I believe Bertram pointed and said, okay, take, start, take, I can't speak. Start scouting through that way. I'll take it this way. Oh, good. Uh, I'm going to go run back to uh, the rest to the house where the other people were. All right, you can start back there. I will say, Bertram, you probably would get there first due to how everything was going. So if you would like to speak, you can do so quickly before Barry arrives or when he arrives. Well, decidedly beforehand, because again, the picture was slightly different last time. But, okay. Say I get there. All right. They are probably in the process of getting Nessa out of rubble, I'm assuming. Uh, I believe Nessa that. was out of the rubble. They were like getting yeah. up and probably rushing off. Okay. In that case, it would be get in there. Not exactly stealthed, but you know, invisible. And say, you don't have a lot of time. They have a thing that has Schmidt scent. Way to beat, see if they punch me in the face. Well, um, you guys hear Bertram's voice come out of nowhere. What uh, do y'all do? Voice out of nowhere? Yes. Grabbing a buzz axe. Grabbing onto Dessa's shoulder. Just, uh, on guard. You know, random voices are random voices. All right, and that's fair. Where I'd have. You put yourself uh, on guard for a second before registering probably who the voice is then. Is there an immediate reply other than physical action? What did you say? What I just said that left my mind, that left my mouth, and then my brain went. You said you don't have. A, he said uh, Bertram told you guys you don't have a lot of time. They have something with Schmidt scent on it. That has Schmidt scent. Either I'm going crazy, or Bertram's ghost is haunting us. Not a ghost yet. Hope to not be here. Take this bag. Watch out for the bug on Rex. If I fire, I'm aiming to your left. Remember that. I gotta get out of here. Good luck. All right. You guys left. see a bag pop into a visibility onto the ground. Mine! Just... <laughs> My left. <laughs> you said look to the left. Oh, is that your comment? No, if the I'm aiming out? at you, I'm going to be aiming to the left. Then Thaddeus shot back. My left or yours? Mine. <laughs> oh. So does Barry just the... See... So from Barry's perspective, does he just see Crystal go on guard and then a bag just appear? Uh, at least he might be able to see the go on guard because a lot of the buildings destroyed. The bag is 50-50. Let's say make a perception check, Barry. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck is that? There's not much in it. No, I know. It's just the bag appearing out of nowhere yeah. may collect attention, may not. Especially uh, when everybody is high alert from combat. Also rubble. Base 18? 18. Base. I I'd might add things to it. I might not. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'd say... It is kind of hard to see, because like I said, it's a small bag, there's a bunch of rubble, a bunch of stuff going on. I'd say you probably see some movement, like something hit the ground there, but them on guard. So I will probably I see let you some know movement. exactly what's exactly it. So I see some movement. Yeah. I see them go... I see them go on a guard. I see some movement. Yes. Can Tech smell it? All right. Tex can smell it, but um, what are you hoping to get out of that? Tex wants to know if it's dangerous. Do they smell bomb, I think. That's kind of what I was going to go with. I guess make a perception check for Tex as well. Barry's just going to run in. Hold on. Mall Things are ready and see it's a bag and just time. kind of stop. As Tex is sniffing it. Sniff, 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 sniff. You guys okay? He got 24 sniffs. Uh, he oh. doesn't smell a bomb. I do know two of the things that were in the bag, actually, remembering now. In there should be Barry's old Echo, uh, a yes. health pack, and uh, ba -da -ba 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 Rex, the original. Okay. Did I already make any Rex? Yes, yes. you did. That's what I thought. 
And, uh, what the fuck is But Bertram has no way of knowing that, so it still makes sense to hand it back. And Bertram did warn you that Bert, that the, uh, it has a... Probably get it. Correct. Yeah. He didn't say that. I did. He did. He did. He did. Oof. Yeah, that's what we're all saying. We're all saying he, he said... did. Okay. <laughs> I, I did. It's on camera. <laughs> I know. No, no, I thought, no, I thought you started... I will he say, by the time like you get there, Barry, and everybody else, Bertram is gone, and invisibility and this noise and stuff, nobody's going to really be able to track them specifically well, until unless well, I time mean, is I've taken. yet to even see a sign that Bertram or the Crimson Lance is here at all, so I mean... I know, I'm just letting I, you know just... that that's the case. I will say, probably sitting here after a second talking to them, especially with the 24 looking around for danger, you will notice the vehicle. Footprints in the ice or snow? Right now, there's just so much shit going on, and the wind's blowing so hard. Uh, okay, what's my uh, remaining? Oh, wait. Is it noticeably a Crimson Lance vehicle? Yes. What's my remaining yes. invisibility time? Oh shit, we gotta get out of here. Um, I'd give you probably a solid 40, 35 seconds left because you were very quick in, uh, very quick and concise with your words and actions. Okay. Is there any like building nearby I could skill for vantage? Easily make an athletics check. Athletics, my good thing. Oh. Honestly, your quickest thing to scale might not be the building. You might be running over towards that crane that's pulled over the edge, like pulled over the like pulled back from the edge slightly. I right just now. need a vantage point. Yeah, you can like grab like the grid work on the side and just like lever yourself up very quickly. It's a fourteen. That's enough. Right. It's not extreme. Well, they're, well, they're doing that. Crystal, now so you guys gotta get out of here. Lance is here. I can probably go and hide, but you two can actually go and have options to actually get out of here first. Without a fight. I'm gonna try and get speak while you guys run off. Yeah? Crystal, Thaddeus, Max, hello? Yeah, we just go what I is Robert's character's name? Tanya. Tanya. Yeah. What about Tanya? I back up yet. I I don't don't off Tanya. Tanya, you're just. <laughs> oh god, ribs. You said three I'll... rounds, but it's been close to 30 seconds. That's what I'm saying. You're about to crest. Yeah. I'll get Tanya out of the way. You two actually have options to get up here pretty quick. I can hide pretty well. I'm sure I can drag Smeet along with me. And you guys see but... Tanya skid across the barrier at the top as it's been about 30 seconds. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, look, for, Tanya. On paper, I use 25 out of my 30. Easy. All right. Thank you. Thank you. you know, oh, what's his name? Bohan son? Clay is arriving now. He stopped for a second to deal with something else when everybody else gathered up. He got a jumped by a bully lung on the way over. The one of a few <laughs> remaining ones. That's an That's an Crystal are gonna run out. Me, me and Tanya are gonna fuck <laughs> off. You don't know us. We'll meet you back later, right? F uh, fuck, alright, go, go. Get the fuck out if you need to. Um Let's roll a D20 been 30 seconds or so. A little longer. What does, Ta what does Tanya see at the top? Since I know nothing. You skid back through the bear. Ooh, that's not good. You skid back through the barrier and almost like like uh, the, like, what is it? The gate that's kind of currently crashed open from Bullymong and from Big Vehicle. And you almost slam and slide into the like huge Crimson Lance Carrier vehicle. Uh, because, well, it's right there by the entrance. Uh, you see everybody else gathering back at the bay, back of the house over there. You probably don't see much else over there, much else running around. Uh, make a perception check to see if you see any of the Lance people. Is anyone in the vehicle? <laughs> Let's see what your perception check says. What is Tanya's perception? Oh. 23. 23. Uh, you see three, two people and something in the vehicle. Everyone else is gathered up there. And while they're talking, uh, you see somebody at the front. You can't really make out good details. They look like very grizzled and everything. But you, something you do notice through these slits on the back of this thing, you see somebody pushing something through 
and whatever is inside of it, you can't get a good grasp on it. You see flashes like like rolling scales a little bit as light catches them from some stuff. And them like presumably nudging it or moving and messing with it. Do I see an invis a door just open and close with no one doing it? No, I jumped no, out when um, you were at the cliff base. <laughs> yeah, and he's currently on the crane, which I would also ask him if he wanted to get an advantage. Yeah, that's right, he's on the crane. Advantage point. Anyone else from our group moving away, doing anything? anything Hold on like a second. Suggest- There's a lot of stuff going on at once, so I'm running down the list so nobody gets skipped. Um, Bertram was trying to get an advantage point, I believe, right? Yeah. Just trying to see the lay of the land, what's going on? See what I can see. Are there more oh, monkeys? <laughs> make your perception check. Can I echo net bury something since he has one? Um, let me settle this look real quick. One step at a time. Okay. Perception check. Passes 15 to plus 5. 24! Heck yeah, Dice! Show me what I see. Did you just determine your modifier by looking at your passive? It was where the screen was, and I knew it's plus 5 now. <laughs> so, uh, looking around, unless you're looking for anything specific, it'll be hard to say. I'll give you the description of most of the Bullyabongs seem to have fled. Uh, probably a good number of buildings have been fucked up, especially by the big frozen one running through. Is there any uh, big frozen one running off in the distance just because you catch a glimpse of it out of your eye? I'm going to make a eyes. note of what direction they're fucking going. But, uh, uh, north. Is there any, like, um, because there's an explosion at the top of this place. Yes. Is there, uh, like, where? Uh, as I was going to say, as part of it, you can see across the way, it looks like one of the larger ruined fuel tanks. Okay. They okay, had one over on the that. side, probably for the number of things, but it seems something detonated it, something happened, and that is part of what set everything off and woke everybody up. You can see a number of... You can see, uh, what is it? Brewer State... No. Shoot, I'm asking up people's names. The names! Hold on, I believe I yeah. have them. I have it right here. You see... Brewer, Sergeant Brewer, the guy who was driving, the older man. In the vehicle still, you see uh, Handler Franz in the vehicle. With a 24, you can also see them starting to push something through the slats, just barely. You can see Hoyle, but Lodi, you catch it just in time as it seems she's lining up something and looking between buildings in the general direction of the group. Not fun. Nothing I can do about that. Tanya, before everything else kicks off, you wanted to send something. You wanted to say something. Uh, cause is, is, it's Barry and Schmidt that have a communicator, right? I think so, yeah. Correct. Okay, yeah, because Nessa and Tanya, or Nessa and uh, Crystal still haven't gotten a new one. Oh, uh, yeah, also um, Clayton, yeah. Yeah, so, those three. It'll just be a, it'll just be a very quick, uh, yeah. Crimson Lance, Scaly Thingy, pushed out a trailer. Don't know what's going on. What's going on? Scaly Thing is still in the trailer, to be fair. I said, very be respawn cool. before this starts. I'll give you a quick reply. I'll give everybody a quick reply if they want to. Run, meet back up later. Don't interact with the Lance. Don't let them see you. Go back down the mountain, pretty much. <laughs> Tanya, a few feet away from the cage, just <laughs> making eye like contact that. with the handler in the back seat. Fair, <laughs> Barry doesn't fucking know this. I know. That's fair. Um, and then I you send this to him. I send this to him and me. Clayton takes a shot as you see his shield light up and throw him into the wall. Barry, you take a hit, because I believe your AC is nowhere near that high. Anything, if it's above 20, it hits anyone. Yeah. Um, and you take 12 points of damage, piercing damage. It probably Rage has ended really since more. it's been a little bit out of combat. Sorry. Rage and has shields it... not back up. Was, has it been shields a minute? Back up? Shields are not has back not up. Been, not yep, been shields aren't quite back up yet. Okay, so how much you say? 14? 12. 12. And then... Okay. It is a 22 for Crystal. 
Ooh, hitting crystal. Which I believe hits. 22? Yes. That does hit. Hey, uh, wait a second. I'm inside a building. I have some measure of cover. Not in this case. That building is no more. <laughs> yeah. The building was busted when they threw another piece of the building at it. There should you, still be some measure of the walls that they, used to be here. They might have sharpshoot. They're small features. I didn't give them sharpshoot, but they're small features to help them with cover. I thought about it. You guys have been in the building they a lot. They ignore three cover. <laughs> Sorry, what was that amount you said then? Uh, 22 to hit and 11 piercing. 11 piercing. Nothing outrageous. Um... I will ask you guys right now, as you guys take these shots, do you wish to enter an initiative as in fighting combat, or would you guys wish to flee and have a chase? Barry would like to flee. Tanya here, where are gunshots from? If they're gunshots. Over shot. from across the town. Yeah, I don't know if these ones stand out to you particularly, because there's still gunshots throughout the town dealing with bully monks. Okay, I didn't know if this was, you know, I wanted to make sure it wasn't from the van I'm next to. No, it's not from the van you're next to. Um... You know, the remnants of gunfire from the bully monks track currently fleeing probably are still finishing off. I will say you can see the group in the corner. Does the rest of the group agree that we should run away? Now is not the time for a vote. <laughs> I think that's okay, more of a... Barry's running away. I think that's more of a just quick look at each other. <laughs> well, yeah, so I've been trying to get people to run away for Play a bit now. Like, All right, the agree. fucking truck. Get All right, out of there. Let's go. Let's go. Um, hmm. What direction are the lands in? I'm assuming that's who shot us, right? Uh, the van you can now, like, well, it's kind of like a cargo van, yeah, is effectively right next to the entrance of this place. Uh, where you got shot from is from a number of buildings off, like, in, like, the towards the center of the town. You can see them peeking out from buildings and slipping back behind it. <laughs> Cool. You um, have an insanely good passive. Direction, please. Also, uh, you said the entrance, so is there another exit, or is it just only it's just one entrance? One. It's just the one. Well, I say it's just the one, but there is but... this thing called a cargo crane right next to you guys. Just jumping off a cliff. Cargo crane? Cargo crane. Uh, it looks like it's meant to be one that stretches out and drops a huge ball, like a huge, like a uh, elevator platform, effectively to the base to lift things up and hmm. down. Down into the cliff. Uh, down to the base of the uh, spire. Are we near the top of that spire? Then? You're at the. You are at the very top. Okay. It's a plateau. Five hundred feet. Oh. Cool. So. Um. Confirmation if you guys would like to enter a chase sequence or initiative before I continue chase too far. Sequence. Chase sequence. And not a place to go and fight go them. run. Yes, run. I just go run and I'll be fine. That is exactly what I told you to do. Do Easy that. Case. Grab Nessa and run. Meet back up with us later. Grab in the bag first of all. Okay. Grabbing NASA secondly. Okay. And I'm running down that crane. As in, I'm gonna hop into a face, face that face walk. Action dash, free action, action dash. I'll give you. And run as far as I can, jump off a cliff if I have to. Drop I'll as far as I can. Up, heads up. Uh, as yeah. you run and jump, it's probably better to activate it later on the way down. You only fall. No, you fall 500 feet. You'd land just at the yeah. bottom as your face is ended. Never mind. I misremembered a rule for a second. As you run Nessa and throws bottom. up. <laughs> yeah, as you grab Nessa. Nessa, are you willing? Yes. Okay. As everything elongates again, colors start to sporadify. You have layers of red, purple, green, blue, purple, purple, green. As things start to pick up speed, your stomach stretches and you accelerate down at the ground at a rate that probably alarms you before you guys hit the hard, hit the ground hard. 
No fall damage. You probably hit your knee, collapse to your knees as the phase ends, and we will enter a chase sequence, it sounds like. I look that at is text. what they are doing, and they are at the base. What is everybody else doing? It's my face. Uh, there it is. Tanya, what are you up to? Are you running like I told you to? I don't know. I gotta look at my surrounding real quick. Okay. What do I got, Matt? Aside from people five feet away from me. <laughs> so, uh, the people right there, the cargo van that you said, I said you, can, you can see the others probably, like you said, like a hundred-ish feet away. Mm -hmm. Back at the building, you did just see, because I point out you noticed them, you did just watch uh, Nessa and Crystal flicker out of existence. You see Barry and Schmeet and Clay over there and Tex. Hey, uh... See uh, a very large, actually good to note from your angle, you see running across back towards the van, it looks like at this point, a very large crimson armored individual holding what looks to be some kind of rotary cannon or minigun of some kind. How far away am I from the vehicle? Uh, probably like 10 feet. 15 feet, anyone? not very far. Is there anyone in it? Yeah, um, the there looks like to be an older man at the front driving, and it looks like some uh, somebody in the middle and something in the cargo area of it. Damn, I was hoping those two got out as well. No. I hey guys, we should all leave our vehicle. Keys inside. Yeah, engine running. <laughs> hey, it's Pandora. Yeah. I will say, uh, you have a brief second. You probably make eye contact with the old ma the man driving in the mirror as he notices you oh, behind him. That's where I'm getting. <laughs> the case so. of just still. Panting heavily and just. <sighs> well, you're thinking on that. If you'd like, we can move on to someone else. Just yeah, start, start, the chase, start the chase sequence of someone else. All right. So, Barry Schmidt, you two are right there at the bait. Right there together. What would you guys like to do to get away? Clay is with you. He says we could. You guys could get to the back to the truck and trailer. Man, that would be confirmation that we know him. But I feel good figure that out. On the other hand, I'm pretty sure Smee and I could both could survive a jump off the mountain. Aim for the bushes. Do what you want to do. What are you doing? Rage before you hit the ground. Yeah. Uh, Medina, what are you up to? Jump. Jump. <laughs> jump. <laughs> How far down the fire are you aiming to fall? Are there any bushes? <laughs> How far down the spire are you aiming to fall? But you said it's 500 feet down? Yeah, but there's a wrapping circular route around it that they could land on like before, like not jumping the whole 500 feet if they didn't want to. What's yeah. uh, uh, the maximum uh, yeah. damage we can take? Well, it's time to slide. We have rage, don't we? Okay. A D6 uh, per 10. Be running now. Or 20, actually, because fall damage is halved. I mean, Tanya, Ryan. Oh, I know, I know what I know what I must do. He's getting ready to split. I'm asking you, are you guys jumping? Fuck it, yes. Confirmed. You can. Okay, Barry's jumping. Speed. Confirmed. Raging. Are you jumping? Fist bump. Jumping. Fist bump. As you guys run. <laughs> Let's go and throw yourself off. Make athletics check and tell me how far down the spire you're aiming to jump. Athletics in that 17. Okay. Oh, plus 7. 24 for you then. Yeah. I did fucking good. Me? Don't they have advantage while raging? If they rage right now, it might be risky about hitting the ground. I don't have advantage anyways. Fuck it. Yeah, it's a rage thing. If you wish to roll for higher than 24, you can. All right. 23. 23. All right. How far down the pillar are you guys wanting to make it in one jump? Uh, it's one higher than I had before. How what? How far down the pillar do you guys want to make it in one jump? How much is full damage in this one? It's already less than it easily is. He six every 20 feet. How far down do you want to make it? Can we slide? With damage every 20 feet? You can't slide down this right away. If you want to jump, you can slide down it in a circle, but it's not a straight down side. 
I'll be okay. sliding down. You'll be sliding down. Okay, how far do you go looking at ghost meat? I'm following you. Okay, and there's a halfway point, you say? Uh, there's a continuous circular uh, road wrapping around as the pillar gets slightly narrower each route, each each rotation. Okay, if we rage, if we're raging, we jump all the way down, knowing what I know about the world, would we die? Twenty-five uh, d6. Uh, it's it could it could hurt. You could survive it, but it could hurt a lot. <laughs> uh, you know, what? let's go. Up. How about halfway or a fourth? <gasps> How far, how much health would that be? How many d6 would that be? Hear me out. Calabunga. Yeah. Calabunga. <laughs> Just give me, at this point, a distance on how far down you want to go. <laughs> you know, we don't have time to think and measure these things. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Okay, this we're is jumping. A, go, go, go. How far down? We're jumping. 500. All the way? All right. No, we're the bottom. Die. As, spines as Bertram, forward. you're sitting here going, "All right, they're gonna run," and then you watch three, four of your people jump off a cliff. <laughs> well, I don't see you're Crystal. Like, you see them at the bottom, yes, barely. But you just yeah, watch. I'm probably gonna cut mine off short, about 300 feet. You want to jump 300? Okay. Yeah. Can I jump the same amount as he is then? Yes. And right. Tanya, you said run, and then you just watch them throw yeah. themselves off the yeah. cliff edge. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I see them start to run towards there. I'm turning. I slash the tire on the way. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you roll as you just try to just blow open the back tires and just. And I'm just gonna push off. It's just like fuck, 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 fuck. You hear over the radio. Oh, I'm, I, I, when I said running, I'm more than running. I'm gonna push off the back of their truck and I'm just gonna fucking penguin slide and use my sword and knife to try and steer. <laughs> I'd say that's an acrobatics to try and navigate down this. <laughs> You'll take the longest to get to the bottom because if you're actually following it all. Yes, but we're jumping. <laughs> He's actually taking path. Do it. Meanwhile. 20, well, 21. How many times? 21. Okay. <laughs> Do I see it pass by once? Oh, uh, Tanya? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you see Tanya just kick up hard using like whatever enhanced muscles she must have to run back up so quickly. As you watch like her kick off and the vehicle just like rocks from the launch and her just <laughs> speeding down using the sword to like guide herself. I'm warm it from my vantage point. Can I just see? Well, what the fuck? Yes. Oh. Yes. You see the <laughs> blur and you look down and go, uh, what? The second go, Okay, no, they don't get two. <laughs> two is shots in a general direction. <laughs> She's that she's Tanya? laying. Yes. She, oh, you don't know who Tony is. I don't. She's, la she's laying down for this too. This isn't standing. Yeah, this, I'm not standing, intending so. to hit, but I got 400 max on this uh, torg rifle. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, a couple of, like shots at disadvantage, I'd say, just for the prone condition. Like I'm not even really, really trying to do damage. I'm just. <laughs> just I am shooting in their direction. <laughs> maybe you should go and give. Maybe you should give them a performance check. No. Does I mean, it look good? It's telling me. You can also miss on purpose. That's what I'm saying. You can't do that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. You guys take, uh, by the Don't way. do that. Just... Barry, Bertram, as you guys land, your athletic uh, check's really good, so thankfully you control where you land. I think you And you me. land well enough without sliding off. What did I say? Yeah. Me. Hello. Oh, Barry and uh, Schmidt land and take it off. You guys take 69 points of fall damage. Nice. The funny. Do we get a half that? Yes, to 34. As you guys slam and crash down hard, and you're like, oh, we've had better ideas before you roll back to your feet. How many attacks do you want me to make, Matt? Uh, I'd just say make a total of like four, probably. Okay. I will give my various attacks momentarily. Or do you, you want me to do attack on one? You got four attacks on one slide by a damn. I'm sorry. No, it's as you're going down continuously. Okay. This is for your. This is for like your whole duration of you just power sliding down. Uh, I'll ask you to make another acrobatics as you make it because you got a long drive down. Thank you. And they're gonna make a. I'm gonna make an athletics for Hoyle and Lodi to see if they make it back in a reasonable time to chase. Not great. They're gonna be delayed. 
Bertram just sees snow snow getting kicked up in a main of hair. You will hear quickly, um, as in the middle of you shooting, this is what cuts you off, but in the middle of you shooting, you hear uh, Lodi over the radio, get back to the car, get back to the van, Bertram, they're running. Okay, so how many shots do I take? The, the four, that's where I cut you off okay. for that reason. Okay, so then that was a 14. The other one was a 24. Which I don't know. This, uh, yes, anything above a tw- anything above a twenty hits everyone okay. but you. I didn't know, man. <laughs> no, we we've gone over this multiple times. Anything above a twenty, it's only you. I could avoid a twenty. True. The second one, seven damage. <laughs> if I tried hard enough. Third one is a miss. It's a nineteen. That <laughs> actually, never no, mind. I'm done. <laughs> a nineteen hits. That's. I uh, got a thing. Are these at disadvantage? Me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How's the turns going? That's not that one. Go again. No. Not we'll go in a second. That's eleven. And then this is number four. four. What was the first one? I think it was like a twelve. He hit two of them, I think. Yeah, I wanted. I'm in the damage. Oh god! Oh. I don't know what Tanya's doing. Oh fuck! Actually, is... depending on how fast you guys are, Tanya might be rocketing around the corner, depending on your next choice. Okay. Hopefully! We should probably hope... hit the ground before her. If they hope... jump the rest of the way. The last one is uh, a... I was gonna kill the road. 16? Okay, miss. Cool. So, uh... I will say, you want to mess up this whole thing, just keep in mind, this is an entire cliff, like, this is an entire rock and ice pillar. I have explosives. I have some tech. This is true. You, that would do it. And you landed. <laughs> you hold on. Around? Yeah, because you didn't land at the bottom, so you could potentially no, like cave apart a side if it's like wobbly-ish. Yeah, that's. I forgot yeah. he had the simtex. Or make one hell of a pothole, <laughs> and just yeah. kind of pray that that's where a tire lands. <laughs> well, I mean, no, I could probably go and cave off a bit of a road. Just. So am I sliding down on any Barry and Schmidt on the way? Please do. Not with you laying down. But does it go past us? Look how it's it, not she. <laughs> I can't fucking tell what the fuck you want. Not you before you get a us. chance, because you jump straight down in one turn, and they have to cycle around a bit to get down. Ah, but it's also going to take a little bit to go and set my thing up, though. It takes an action. Not much. It takes action, but still, I don't know, I still take it. Turn or so at the very least. It takes After a couple seconds it to takes look an at things. to set it and for you to get away. Yeah. So well, I mean, there's that. But I'm also not just you know chucking a grenade. I'm planting an explosive charge. I know the the charge takes an action to interact, action to set and put in place. Okay. But you have to get away from it still. So. So in fairness, yeah. they probably hear shots a. if they jumped off the same side that <gasps> I'm at. Yeah. That's it fair. seems like that's you guys where everybody's can see going. Bertram at the top firing at something, not you guys, but something. Waste my heal and I just put in. While you're putting that in, you're sliding down. Crystal and Nessa, what direction are you running? Um, <laughs> They're running the in, wait for the direction. truck to arrive. <laughs> Although you guys might be waiting for the truck to arrive. If so, that's fair. No. Just a camper alone. Gonna make it through this. Somebody in their magic purple candy didn't decide to take it down there nice and safe. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Wait, what? I couldn't have done that and sold Brock Nessa with me. I'll go can. look for... No, I can't. With magic purple candy. Like I left behind? Alright. I could have done that. Huh. <laughs> what? Whoop. Look at the shot. Whoever no one knows about all. that, so... Uh, can one person finish the sentence first? John else continues. No. What are you saying? Let Dad finish speaking. Go ahead. I was going to go looking around for cover, just trying to break line of sight so they can't find us. We can lose them potentially. Line of sight here is going to be rough, as I described originally. Yeah. You guys came across a large, mostly barren area before making it to the spire. There's a lot of co- like bank space back this way. Honestly, the closest bit of cover, and it's a little ways off, is probably the same direction that Bully Moncran. Do they still see it running? Yeah, it is currently out of. You guys currently can't see it. Dark time. Remember, it's night. Oh, then they well, shouldn't be able to the cliff unless there's lights. Yeah. 
That's true. Around the pillar, yes. But oh, away from the pillar? Get, yeah, once they get into this. Yeah, once we get That's away true. from the pillar, we, we should be fine. So just away from the lights, as far as possibly can go. Hey, I have a question about this strip of ice. Is it just like light post on the corner of each side? It's like a periodic light just like hammered into the stone wall. Yeah. Keeping yeah, it like decently well lit up. Road markers. Hey, here's the edge. Don't go past this. Yeah. Uh, I will have to ask, which direction are you running? Just so I know for future stuff. Or is it completely just random? Going towards the bully mong area. Okay. Wherever the bully mong's running, running. That'll work. It's all out sprinting. You guys do need your guide after all, still. I don't care. Yeah, it's covered over there. That's fair. All uh, right. You get your thing set. Um, after you get your simtech set, good. Bertram, are you running back to the truck? That's where I was told to run. All right. I wanted. Um, I want to do this very specifically as I do have demotions kit thing. So where it actually caves in the road, it doesn't make a pothole, it actually brings down the fucking road so they can't come driving after okay. us. Okay, if you want the whole like thing knocked out, do make a check with that, please, for structural integrity issues. 25. <laughs> yeah, um... He rolled that before you asked. <laughs> is that a nat 20 for you? Or is that 19? That's a 19 plus 6. Did you I roll have the other a D6? Roll another one. You got that like echo whatever, right? That's supposed that's to. That's for um, crafting purposes. Okay. That's bonuses, not just for this, unfortunately. Oh. That's fair. So yeah, um, you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah, you're pretty sure you got an unstable, unstable thing here. You could probably mess with a little bit. As you're fiddling with that, are you? Where are you guys running after this? Off the cliff. Yeah, you guys Further just jumping down? the rest. Of the way Continue down. the. Wait, no, for bringing this down. We're going sideways further along the path. Has Tanya gone past us yet? Nope, that's why I'm asking what you're doing. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of a time so we can actually go ahead and get through it, but not enough that they would actually be able to get past. Yeah, give it like 15 second cooldown, it's a 15 second timer for you to sprint and put down the road aways. Yeah, think that's enough time for Tanya to get by too, I wonder? You'll find out. Can you give him a roll? See if they can outrun it. Out. I'm, I'm just getting your things confirmed. Uh, as you guys are running, yeah, sure. Down all of Sorry, this. Tanya. Tanya, make a dex, make a make a dex save as you no another acrobatic check as you race oh. around the corner. You stop and you go, what? Uh, no, you don't stop. You like look and you go, what? As you see, a beep, beep, beep. A little bit explosive. Twenty-one. What'd you get? Twenty-one blackjack. Twenty-one. Uh, how do you like to handle this as you spin around another bit of this icy corner and you see Schmeet and Barry just hoofing it down the road? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, am I, I mean, I should be going pretty fast right now. Shouldn't You're I? not going to stop. You're not going to be able to stop in time. But how oh, would you no, like no, to I, handle? I meant I should be going faster than them, right? Oh, you are very much going faster. You're going to just take their legs out right now if you don't move. Oh. I mean, Tanya's gi Tanya's been giggling the whole way down for this, so... Probably just shout there at is. them. <laughs> okay. It's on us. All right. What I are can you just... saying? Barry, wait, out of the way. All right, if you're leaving it up to them, guys, it's going to be a deck save at disadvantage because you have, like, no time to react. It's okay. They get plus four. <laughs> they get a plus four bonus, at least. Yeah, why? What? Because Paladin Aura. Because, because Paladin Aura. <laughs> because Paladin Aura. You get a plus four save. <laughs> Before I take, before I slam into Nessa, you. Nessa, Crystal, you don't know where, you don't know why, but somehow you know the other three members of your crew are doing something so stupid right now. Please, please just be able to just jump over me. I don't know, failing would arguably be funnier. Alright. Yeah, I'd like for them to just be able to just so jump over me. So you say it's uh, plus four, well, like, 
It's disadvantage so it's 14, but... You, got an, four? you have an additional plus four to to whatever your dexterity is. Oh, then that's, uh... Oh. oh. Would, 14, 17, would Barbarian plus, Danger Sense kicked in? No, because they have no warning or ability to see this happening before they just hear, MOVE! Okay. <laughs> I mean, oh god, I'm okay. glad I got that fucking roll. <laughs> they're, they're rolling, she's rolling down really fast. <laughs> Rolled That's again, a I'm really fucking happy I hit you. I did. Okay. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Um. Um? Disadvantage, but they've got like a plus seven or something. Oh, I rolled a nine, but I got an eight, seventeen on that. Yeah. A seventeen total? Yep. All right, DC was 15, so both y'all passed. <laughs> As you hear that, and just reflexively, Shmeet, you just jump on the wall and grab it. Just to hang <laughs> on it. And Barry, your instincts kick in as you look back and you see them sliding, and you just, like, fucking lean back for a second and buddy hop as Tanya just <laughs> under hey you. Guys. Hey, guys. Hey, Hey, guys. Bye, guys. Barry just says, hey, all. And... Bertram, as you guys got in, they had Brewer hit the, like, as soon as Brewer was, had everybody in, he hit the gas, Lodi took a second to get it back, unfortunately, and spun it around, and you guys are racing down the mountainside right now? Uh, not the mountainside, racing got? down the spire. Can I see Lodi? <laughs> Lodi jumped in the car, she just took a second okay. longer than you guys to get back. Like, you made it sound like she was abandoned at the top, it's like, no, no. <laughs> No, no, no. I was going to say, she took a second longer, but when she got there... Okay. What about the animal handler pushing the animal out? He didn't push the animal out, he was pushing something into its cage. Oh, okay. Did Bo's As... son manage to unhide himself or something? Doesn't Very matter, Siren, right that way. Disregarded him. He's not important. Good. Um, they disregarded and they're racing down, the when you guys it. hear it, Bertram, please make a perception check to see if you can give any kind of heads up to the fact that a bomb just detonated half this wall. Uh, <laughs> 18 total. At what high? 18 total. 18 total is enough. As you hear something, and you hear a kind of muffled because of the way everything's set up, the way the wind's rushing and scowling through, like a... <laughs> as shit starts to fall. Something and went suddenly you piece together, something's <laughs> happening on the road. Things are happening. Look at Look at And um, I'll give him a driving check. It's going to be flat since you can give him a warning. They got to hit the brakes you... on the ice. How far That's do they That's really see? good. That's a 24 total. Damn. He doesn't want to look bad because he knows I will take it from him. <laughs> As like, he hits I'm the like, brakes and starts to like, sk hit the, like, try to like slow it down as much as he can. And the problem is this is a fairly icy, rough road still. And the vehicle's sliding hard. And as you guys come around the corner, you see as he's like hitting the brakes and he pushes it and it starts to drift to the side and the ass end of the vehicle starts to come off of the edge and the wheels are spinning to keep it in before he just... And you guys slam roughly into the side of some of the fallen rubble as it's here. It doesn't damage the vehicle, but it does stop in time. It does stop with all of that. Meanwhile, at the bottom, Nessa and Crystal, as you guys are running, you can just... You look, Kiro... <laughs> and look back just to see part of the side of this breaking and crumbling as there's a good like 20 foot section of wall that fell and took out part of the road on the spire <laughs> hmm. Tanya you're getting into the bottom first they're effectively halted for just a second you guys get a free round of running because that's a good bomb maneuver <laughs> Um, I'll let you get to the bottom too. Tanya, are you waiting for people at the bottom? Uh, they were coming down. I'll wait for them. I'll take a minute to, uh, unice myself. You're like slowly pa unpatching some of like the abrasions from sliding down the cliff, sliding down all of this. Just better just take a moment to breathe. <sighs> okay. Can you guys get down? Uh, right. Nessa and. Crystal, are you giving any indication for the groups that are to follow where to go? No. Like your friendly group. Uh, we leave Marks then. That's Marks at the other group. 
Keep in mind, if you don't follow. leave marks, you're running into a Ticey Tundra. It's more of a, Just you're currently in an area of no cover whatsoever. Marks here aren't going to matter. Marks wherever you end yeah. up being are. Like, not saying, like, leave a mark on the ground, but, like, any, there's an idea of, like, hey, fire a gun off so there's a brief flash for your own team to, like, spot and know a direction to start running, at least. It's just an offer of a, it's just offering a chance to see if you're giving them that. If not, they can try to make survivals and follow if they wish. I assume they wish. Mm. Nope. Regardless, there's a bully bomb kill. Because you guys don't have any communicators still. Know, we do, they're all just on the same team. They're all on together in one team. No, that's what I'm telling you. Nessa and Crystal, though. Yeah, I know. Great, right? Everyone change your comms identifier to Barry, so when someone calls, it pops up as Barry. You guys will hear over the radio as you're deciding, Clayton, just... Did you just bomb the fucking road? Yes, I did! The road's out, by the way. You better hide. Oh, fuck. I guess I'm working on the fucking crane now as you hear the engine change speed and gear in the background. <laughs> Can we Where meet you there? Okay. Yeah, let's meet you there. What'd you say, Nessa? I said I don't have a flare or anything. Well, like I said, there's muzzle, oh. like there's like fire good gun for a muzzle flash or a burst of fire or some other random stuff. Tex can use his. Oh, wait. No, he doesn't have a flare. Go there on. Yet. Tell me what Boy, Tex always. can do back at the house. Someone can generate fire punches. Wait, you love Tex back? Tex is currently with Clay. Ah. Uh, well, wait, can Tex find you, though? Within she's lane. willing to activate it, but Clay's also not with your group. Well, yeah, but I don't, I don't think she knows that. <laughs> We That's ran it. after that. I'm offering them the option now if they wish to give them an indicator. Yeah. There was absolutely just an head. outline of Dino going, where did he come from? Where did he go? <laughs> just send text, go find them, and then tell I'm assuming text, I have find rest us. then, right? I'm assuming so, unless you did something with them. And then I can just pop. send a signal for text. Also, you could possibly go and use Rex to go and find us at this point, probably. Okay, where are you guys going from the base? Did Bo just say he's going down the, uh... Fucking cra crane? Crane. We can yeah. meet Bo at the crane. In yeah, the meantime, I'm not crane. convinced that my driver's actually going to stop and not, you know... We can Don't make it to that back next. Off. <laughs> back off and try to drop to the one below it. Uh-huh. I'm sure we can too. Hey, Barry. Shmi. Yeah. yeah, he's good. Yes. Uh, bad guys are after sirens. Those are the guys about to stand. They're after you. Don't let them know you're a siren. Kind of for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, we should probably get Bo and find the others and then uh, get right. away. Heal ourselves up. Have to go find our guide again. And not to find us. Yeah, let's go kill that bully mom. Meanwhile, yeah. at the vehicle, as you guys have done all this, Brewer is going to turn around <laughs> and look at, like, not turn around, he's just going to look in the mirror, make eye contact with everybody of, I think I can make it. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. I think he can too. <laughs> Don't you dare. He's going to make eye contact with Bertram. Bertram's nodding slightly, it seems like. Lodi's shaking her head slightly. <laughs> Looks Don't to Hoyle dare. for the deciding factor. <laughs> Hoyle yeah, just gives him not. a thumbs up. No! And, the animal and he just... And backs, hits it in reverse to just try to slide this slide to the side and onto the road below. That Remember, is there's, gru there's fucking need you to debris down wall. there as well. You took out a section of it all. And it had to fall somewhere. It did, but it could also keep falling. That is, burst them with your luck. <laughs> Actually... Of from going down them. Bertram, Eric, would yeah, you like to roll this check? Failed. I want Failed. to give him Failed. the opportunity to disappoint me, not disappoint myself. Fail! Oh, for God, fail! You have damned us. Why? Just... If Matt rolls, he's more likely to fail. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, if, if you're rolling, then over Matt. No. He wants you to fucking fail. Right. He wants to get a bad check. I don't. I want to see him do something cool. He's gonna do something cool because yes. it's cool. As yeah. Brewer, it's the fucking 
Kind of the ship die. is reversed. You guys hear it spin. The back, couple of the front, the front two of the three back wheels catch catch it as the thing whips it around, and well, what you about guys hear head? tires squealing. Oh, it's flat, but there's six rear wheels. Oh god, <laughs> that's a point. As it starts, to, you guys hear tires squealing as you guys watch up. As it drifts over the edge slightly, like just spinning sideways, hits the thing below, and he slams it in by like keeps slamming it down, and manages to go into reverse and is backing down the thing and That's racing down fair. the of the reverse. We're gonna flip whenever that trailer it. hits the road. It's Ricky Bobby time. Is you guys are brace going? What are you guys doing? We're gonna flip whenever that trailer hits the road. Look around, brace. <laughs> There's no trailer. I thought there was a trailer for the bucket. I can. Uh, no, it's like a. Imagine like a cargo van with the back retrofitted into a heavy cage. Okay. In that case, quickly runs new 3D dimensions into mind. The wheels are located probably where they can grab things pretty quickly. So it's either going to be a stop and flip over and then sit there like a turtle, or we'll be fine, right? But he's going straight uh, down, right? Racing down the back of it. You're not going as fast as he could go forwards, but you guys now know they are on the way still. We're running for that trailer so we can Tanya, get the fuck out. I think you can appreciate a hell of a drive maneuver. Can't be that shit up there. <laughs> I'm not going, I'm not looking that way, we're running. No, I said you guys heard this tire squeal to let you know to, and like a quick look back to watch them do that. So you guys have a heads up. Um, running. All right, everybody running. Um, Absolutely everybody running. Make athletics checks. And to the group, are you going after the bully mug as well? 20. I am. Not 20. Fair. Uh, I'm half dead. I don't think I'd survive a fight with a bully mug right now. 30, 20. You're half dead equals one rage, and then you're just fine. <laughs> Am I rolling to run too? Yes, you and Nessa are all, uh, Nessa and Crystal are also time. running. Am I rolling? Because they what are also running. What would that be? Athletes. Four. <laughs> I'm quite literally at one fourth health now, actually. Dirty 20. <laughs> That's really good. I'm going with Tanya, by the way. The athletics or acrobatics? Athletics. This oh, is about hard it? pumping and like physical it's a marathon. Fitness. Oh, I see. Uh, it's more sprinting for cover. Nineteen. That's really good. Oh fuck! That's plus seven. Here. That's twenty-seven. Then oh. it's an at twenty yes. plus a seven. I heard my name. Did okay. I not hear my name? I'm sorry. Hurry, not hurry. I got the twenty-five. Oh, wait, are we still beside? Um, that's Aaron? for save. That's for save. Oh. Not for throws. Gotcha. That's really good on everybody. Um, I think I'm waiting on crystals. I might have missed it in the talk. No, you said that's really good when I said I had 19. Okay, that's what I was saying. I might have. It, there was a lot of talking going. On. I just wanted to make sure. I think that um, the really good yeah, may have been to it. Sprint. Yeah, there was a lot of talking. Man, my brain don't work so great some nights. <laughs> we just needed to know if they were rolling athletics or acrobatics. That's right. As everybody is just pumping eye, like legs are pumping like pistons, sprinting across this icy field, wind howling madly across all of it. You guys are all running into the darkness, thankfully, making this very hard to follow. I don't think right away until you guys get to the bottom, you'll be able to take off immediately. There's no good immediate indicator for the vehicle, and Clay's gonna be a bit behind because he has to put the crane out and take it down. And he find us later. He has text, right? Find us. He has, he has text. I send a message to him. Um. Follow the, follow text. As you Tell get down way. to the bottom, you guys don't have an immediate path, Bertram. How would you like to proceed? Okay. The bully mong went north, right? Yes. Okay. So, making a lot of assumptions here that whatever the fuck that was about probably had something to do with these guys. You all do find yourself at the center of events often. Correct. 
But at the same time, I don't want to run them over in the middle of a fucking icy wasteland. So what I am going to say is I saw the bully mong that we pat that uh, fucking pearled over us whenever we first got here. It's going northwest. Ah. Uh, would you like to make a deception then? Sure. My number is 26. Oh. What? All right. Um, what are you speaking? Yeah, All right. Do you think they'll follow the bully monk then? They get involved in a lot of shit outside of investigating the town to see why the fuck a bunch of bully monk were up there. That's probably where they're going to be going. I think it was holding somebody too, right? I don't remember. Yeah, I think I saw somebody in it. And I was going, it went over. I wasn't sure of that at first. Before the siren jumped over us, which didn't look familiar, which is a whole different thing. But whatever. Something to figure out. Two sirens in play may change the rules. Who knows? So, uh, what is your. What do you think we should do to go forward? This is your. Provisional. Uh, provisional All the bully first job. Follow the bully monk. Nope. Well, you heard it, Brewer. He nods. Internally. Punches. Man, I hope there's a good sized bully monk to the northwest. <laughs> <laughs> They head slightly northwest. You guys see a vehicle raining, racing out with lights active, like lights on, so you can see it. However, thankfully, it doesn't seem to be heading directly at you guys. It seems to be heading north, like you, but northwest, so slightly off kilter in a way. Oh, you're talking to us, not him. Not to Bert. Everybody else uh, there can see that. The group that's hunting me. <laughs> How far away is it at the moment? Just, just as a question. Uh, you guys have been pumping hard pretty hard. Probably a good thousand feet. Hmm. Maybe? It's really hard to tell at night. Okay, I'll do a okay. stealth check. There's no... No, this, there's no physical way to see you guys right now. Oh, oh cool. It's nighttime. People don't have dark vision because they're humans. You Got are a like flashlight. a thousand feet away. The wind is howling. There's no physical way for them to see you right now. Hey, Tanya, let's go back to the, the car. We can go faster than that. There, you should probably be down by now. They just went past us. Yeah, that's fine. Also, where's the ramp? You could radio oh, clay at any I time. Remember. Yeah, I do so. Okay. They just went past us. We're heading back to that uh lift, so you can go. In, so we'll meet you when you get down there, and then we can find the other two. All okay. right, give me 15 minutes to finish getting all, like, the crane running it down. Got to put this thing all the way out. It is not fun. Yeah, I don't suppose anyone else knows how to find the other two. You can't have the find bag. Dog, look for the two. Oh. The bag is with Nessa and Chris. I know. <laughs> yeah. There's a random car over there. That could be our car. Could be a dog. I will say because of the headlights and with the headlights illuminating and you can see it slightly and you have a good passive, that is not a, your vehicle. You can see the red armor. That's not our car. I mean, it could have been. If you <laughs> stole it quick enough. <laughs> there is a crane heading down the side with a like a lit up on the pillar of the distance with what looks like a vehicle on it, if that helps. It could have been our car if people had gotten out of the driver's seat. It could have been. <laughs> I don't even need yeah. to get out of the driver's seat. I just need to run up on it and then us. <laughs> like it's right there, ready for the taking. I mean, if you want All to right. make it, on, that's your decision. As everybody races, you guys race off into the night. You guys are going to keep running until you hit cover, so that's going to be a couple minutes more running before you hit cover. Are you going to wait in cover, or are you going to keep going north? Are you asking that group or us? Uh, the, the group of two, because I know you guys are waiting for Clay in the truck. We're going to see if we can signal the uh, other two without signaling anyone else. Try and find see the other two. You don't have a way of communicating with them, really. 
any idea where they might have went. Pull out two glow sticks. Start doing interpretive dance. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you know is you, Barry, would know this in particular that Tex has a way of finding Nessa. Alright, fair enough. Because you followed Tex to Nessa last time. Yeah. And you saw Tex not get taken. Alright, I told this to, um... Others. Just a Tanya and Smee. We can follow the, uh... We can follow the robot. The Nessa left with Bo. What's his name, son? What's son again? Matt? Clayton. Clayton is full. He Nessa said he left with Clayton. Though. Nessa left with Clayton. We can follow that. Hmm. To find out. Is that Clayton the evil dude? And I need no. a goddamn map. No, that was Dakin. Dakin's the one who's, yeah, not yeah. on not good terms with Barry. Yeah. I have to Dakin. ask you, the group of two, though, are you going to keep running once you hit cover, or are you guys going to take shelter near the edge of cover? I mean, the people who are chasing us are over there. There's no reason. Yeah, they're going in running. at least a moderately wrong direction. Yeah. Take shelter, I would assume. Take shelter. It's a perfect time to check to see what's in this bag. Okay. Proof. You know, before we get too far. It has my own. It has my old echo device, which means yep, correct. You open. She correct. can go you and talk it. to me. Give it a second. Let me finish describing what's in there. You open the echo. You open the bag, and in it is what seems to be your previous uh, model of Rex. That is damaged in some ways you can check it looking over real quick it looks like it took a bullet shark and maybe some electrical damage that fried it a bit there is mm. a healing pack in there a health file in there and a echo device one that i'll say ness is pretty good with tech and recognizing stuff that this is barry's old echo device nessa remembers something about a bug, so she's gonna look in Rex right. for a bug. Okay. I mean, the bug Tech. could be in the health pot as well. Like, you just put a little beetle there. No, that <laughs> is my secret plan. <laughs> a living bug. Make a uh, tech or investigation check. I'll let it be either or. A little microchip tra uh, fucking transmitter? Yeah. Joke's on you. They put yellow fever in the health file. My right, other I'll secret plan. <laughs> I'll take the health file. And AIDS. Of course. I got a 19. Alright, that's enough because it was a rush job. You can see it wasn't patched in very well. Some of the, like, the, some of the circuits were half soldered in and not fully finished. Kind of disgraceful bug, honestly, to see how poorly integrated it was. Disgusting. But it definitely looks like a rush slap job that you do in like 15-20 minutes. If you started from scratch. Pitiful. Oh, did you find something? They put a bug in here. They messed with my machinery. I mean, the bug could and they just crawled in. <laughs> something. Right? I is gonna put her hands together and she's just gonna breathe. <laughs> There's a bug on my phone, like it's, a spider. <laughs> it's not that kind of bug. Um, so it's like a tracking device. Oh, so it's like a, a spy bug, bug or something. One of those little yeah. micro chips things. Like a spy uh, bug. Spider. <laughs> no, it's a spider. Spider. <laughs> it's like a little micro chip that they used to track us, and she's gonna like hit it with a hammer. It just, psh, it's busted. It's not hard to break. I'm assuming that will stop it. I that don't stop it, right? Thanks. <laughs> I really don't. I should learn a bit more. Oh, yeah, that that's one good kind of example. Of technology. <laughs> <laughs> they did a really bad job anyway. As in bad job as in did it work or bad job as in is super noticeable? Um, super 
super noticeable. Bit of both. We probably should move because then they would have our current location, right? It was it worth? Eh, I don't think that they. I don't think it got that far. When I say they did a bad job, I mean they did a really bad job. You want to check the echo device for one as well? Yeah. I don't know if he said there was only one or there was multiple. Uh, same Might device. as well. It's better safe than sorry. You know. That one's a 26. Uh, to the best of your knowledge, there does not appear a bug on this one either. As you pop up at the back, check some of the circuits inside, you flip down the tape entry point. Is that the one that has the video on it? This one has some messages on it that you'll notice, like unopened messages. No spiders. No spiders. No, but there are some messages. No spiders, but messages. This is probably Barry's. Would it be wrong to go through Barry's private messages? You know, I was just about to ask the same thing. Is it rude to go through his stuff? Probably. I don't think Crystal would care. But do I care? No, not at all. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I, I am a little <laughs> bored. You guys probably have a minute. Um, are you letting Texas text home in right now? Yeah. Okay. This is Barry's mom just calling to check in, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> uh, at the base of the cliff, Clay gets down finally and drives the truck off of the lift. And a couple of other vehicles get off at the same time, you notice. They look like they're taking off to go get something to deal with something. But he rolls up next to you. Well, hop in. Awesome. Oh, nobody gets shotgun. That's apparently uh, our chrome wrapped, our chrome sorry in here. That's uh, getting that. Scream. That's fine. Barry goes to take a nap in the trailer. Okay. Hey, and I can probably, out. Listen, I can probably stab someone with my nipples right now. I am going to curl up on a blanket next to the heater. Pop in the trailer. Heater's on. Thank you. Tex also has a heater. That's what's keeping you two warm right now. What? That's what's keeping you two warm right now. We don't have pets. Oh, that's right. Habits of you, assuming you have it. You guys are getting cold, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Tex, Tex is going to put his head on. I always, I'm so sorry, Robert. Wait. I keep forgetting. Your Tanya's in the trailer. Tex is up front to guide um, Clay. There is only Fine, Clay. She can't put her head on Tanya. No, unfortunately, she, um, Tex needs to be up front to direct Clay. It's okay. I've got another machine, a, a heater. It's just a heater. <laughs> yeah, That's it's fair. not the most warm. It only it probably only raises it to like fifty in that back valley right now. But fifty is better than negative. That's a significant increase. Exactly. I'm pretty cold, honestly. It is freezing right now. Really? You're in Carolina. How the fuck are you freezing? Running in, in the game. Slaps him in the head. Continue story. <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> That's right, anyway, I are you guys opening the messages? Everybody gets in and starts driving off. I want to open the messages. Opening the messages. Like immediately, because I uh, kind of want to know okay. what they are. Also, know what Barry's all about, just in case he is going to betray us eventually. Uh, the two messages you get are from Bertram. Well, not you get. The two messages you see are on Barry's thing are from Bertram. Bringing them up right now. Uh, uh, the first until... one. Go. Until such a time as you outwardly say, no, no one is, um, um, monitoring these I have to continue sending them through you Matt <laughs> that's fair uh, I was just gonna check them read through more quick for him yeah. well he's reading uh, that 
Go on. Well, I was going to read this, read them off real quick. Go ahead, though. First message says, Ancient's totally fucked. The Lance, and I'm the only thing on your side here, you guys, have it this time. Jethro is thrown in fully, so if I get downed, please don't kill me or take all my stuff. I'm trying to watch for a weakness in their setup to get heat off Crystal and Shmi. They want both of them without quarter. Seriously, this Ancient bitch is off the wall crazy and is willing to put, pull out all the stops. I think they're mutating the wildlife on a widespread scale. Get off this planet. The bandits and opportunity are on the Lance's hit list, so you can find some allies there. Get yourselves away from them. Somehow. Also, again, please don't freaking kill me and take my stuff. Signed, B. Second message. Sent you the last message when I thought I was going to meet with you a lot in the Highlands. I haven't seen anything on Shmi. Hopefully he's with you by now. I got him out of containment. But then Barry blew me up, and I couldn't keep searching for, them, for him the next night. Found some sort of horrible alien thing attaches a picture of alien. So uh, you get to see an image of it. And it is one of those tall, thin, elongated shoulder pauldron kind of flying guardians that they were gone around the by the time those showed up. <laughs> yes. And then the squad assigned. And you can see it's kind of like a blurry picture as you see it driving and you yeah. see some like blonde lady's face in the corner of it looking like, what the fuck? And then the squad assigned to watch me headed back to base. There's a bug in Rex's computer code. It should help Nessa figure out what to look for since hiding is likely to be a constant. It's likely you can send me messages in the future, but assume they're being viewed. Reports are coming in of an obvious siren riding a motorcycle, which is largely how they know you're here. At least hide the tattoos in the future. More allusions to not having to deal with as many things in the future keep popping up and something is coming. I noticed that they stole our Lancer from Overlook, though I kind of assume you knew, or at least guessed that. Dakin seems off the Lancer, Lance's radar, though bandit affiliated. They have some sort of mutant on your tracks. It's not going to be the last. I'll keep trying to be one and a half steps behind. The people that I'm working with, or at least the Ranger, don't seem to be a monster. Sign B. <laughs> I'm going to assume this B is Barry. Uh, not Barry. Yes, him. Barry <laughs> self memo. <laughs> yes, it's Barry. <laughs> Barry is sending messages to Barry. Yeah. I wouldn't I mean, put it past him at this point. I'm not sure. Honestly, I can't, this. Like, I, that's a lot of questions. Seems pretty convincing to me. So, uh, are we there yet? Getting close. Also, now here's the next you guys question. had to wait for a couple. You had to wait for a minute. I was letting them read through all that and have a moment to uh, talk. Here's the next question. Is Crystal actually going to give me my old uh, thing back with the messages still on it? We'll find Ooh, out later. Like what are you guys doing? I feel like there's been a discrepancy here for the motorcycle riding up north because I wasn't supposed to be showing them then. You did one time to rush a group of bandits. I wasn't showing them then, I was just rushing at them with a sword. Fair, but that, I don't know about the siren riding the motorcycle. Rumors get messed up. There were a couple yeah. times where sirens were visible and in view. So that's, that's what cut it off. It is the possibility that rumors caused the story to mutate a little bit. Because you had brought it up that bef you had brought up that part before and I said no, she was covered for that part. Correct, when but it also doesn't say which siren's doing what. And like we said, stories mutate. Also, like you said, you're a siren and just think that you're going out there without it. I think exactly the same picture. I said that there's gonna, so, gonna. We might just find a new two in the cave. Confused. Everyone talked at exactly the same time. Whoever wants to go first, go. <laughs> I didn't hear anybody else. Yeah, um, Max said I'm confused and it, everybody just stayed silent. Yeah, but immediately before then. They're like, nobody oh, had yeah, anything to go off of. <laughs> yeah, that's, I was going to try to give the people back to the cave a chance about the messages real quick. So they got to... Camera is on Crystal and Nessa. 
Yes. Yeah. If you wish to hand it over, we can do so. But I was giving you guys an opportunity. What this means? Oh, I walked away because I thought. Come back, off. Thaddeus. <laughs> Come back. You're a primary character. <laughs> You're the lead um, character. <laughs> I'm confused about what exactly. Is there a lot, a lot of things to be confused about? I don't think that picked up on the audio, Max. Nothing's picking up. Yeah. Hey, okay. Max, I think you're... I'm going to find the messages and send them to Thaddeus. So he can look Thank at them. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That's fair. Um, she's fixing her audio thing real quick. I guess we can have this talk in a second when her audio fixes. Does anybody in the vehicle have something to say? As you guys are heading out over the icy tundra. Alright, really no. Okay. What do you guys think Bully Mong tastes like? I don't know. I'm now. hungry, so it sounds pretty good. Shmeet, did you eat any of those up there? I kind of bit into it and get to eat it. Um. We'll get you a bit. We'll get you one to eat. Oh, that's a big one. Am I back? Yes. Yes. Yep. Why does this keep happening? Because we can't have it. Got to have bad luck somewhere. Can't have nice things. Apparently not. What did I miss? Well, we paused and waited for a second for him to fix. Okay. You just were mentioning you were confused and Crystal asked you what you were confused about. I'm mostly confused about the... I don't understand why he's... undercover. I think he's running... How do you say it? Uh, counterintelligence? Essentially giving them false information that seems real. So they go off in a, on a wild goose chase while chasing us. Maybe. Do we need counter? Do we need that? I mean, anything helps. So is he just I've... gonna hang out with them? Maybe he might be trying on? to convince them to go against Anshin. Because ah. he said, I'm the sure that would be the was... easiest thing huh? to do. I think I've lost an earbud in my ear. Huh. Get those out of there. The lynx doesn't really take kindly to people um, betraying them. Vehemently so. Execution oh. is generally what happens. Yeah, oh, you lynx, know. Then. But if he gets the lance to, you know, work against Anshin, because the Anshin's one hired them, then maybe. Just maybe we wouldn't have to run so often. But then he just say to run. That's what he just said that we had to do was just run. I'm going to say yeah. Yes, because he said a lot of stuff. I don't really want to just message. run for my whole life. That seems counterintuitive. Very. It's not a way to live. No, like, no fans, but... And I don't know a way off this planet. Oh, the same would be Key if... Mark got on it. Except Is there a way off Pandora? Someone has to have a yeah. spaceship somewhere, right? Hmm... I would assume so. Worst case scenario, but, you could just build a rocket, right? <laughs> right? Can you do that? I don't know how to build a rocket. Oh. 
Got a lawn chair, some duct tape, and a grenade. <laughs> Use the Dave the Barbarian strategy. You will build a rocket using a microphone, some duct tape, and, and a, a rocket. rocket. Excellent. You guys start to hear an engine. But it doesn't, it seems counterintuitive to keep running. I think that it would just be better for him if he just left and came back here. But then we'd just all be running together. Yeah, but he's going to end up dead if he stays like that. How would we get him to stop chasing us anyway? Say it again? How would we get him to stop chasing us anyway? Give him a better offer? Do we have a better That's offer? That's a lot. I mean, right now we have two sirens. That's a great mm. way to bolster anyone's forces. So, so his you plan know, if is. If they're working. I just, I guess I'm not really following. So his plan is to stay in the group with the bad guys and lead them away from us, but yet he keeps finding us. Confused. I'm sure they probably do not trust him yet. So he has to show that show enough force or whatever so that they will trust him. I'm like to, to me he's gonna, gonna get find killed. us anyway. So if they're going to find us anyway, it's better to have a man on the inside to push them another direction or make us other plans fail. I hate to be a broken record on this, but I'm just saying I did warn you guys and if we would have messed with them, they probably wouldn't be hunting us anyway. No, Anson will always be hunting me and probably you as well. What'd you do? I tattoos glow. Did so they cut me just because you exist? Yes. It's really rude. That is rude. See, well then they're gonna hunt us anyway, so why can't we have our buddy? Because they're gonna hunt us anyway. If there's know that they're coming then do not know that they're coming. Yeah, to be aware that right. they're on our tracks instead of they randomly show up. Engine Assuming that's what audible in the background now. Well, I am looking in that direction because I want to make sure it's, you know, there. I was saying engine is audible stuff. in the background. Yeah, I was saying engine's audible in the background now for them. Uh, looking out with a perception check, yeah, high passive actually you can see the vehicle taking a peek over and you can currently see clay in it with the lights illuminating in front of them lights they burn ah. <laughs> you gotta have lights to see to navigate he's because you guys currently ran into like some of the more icy shelves and hills rocketing up again oh wait they really burn if they're reflecting off the ice yeah they're bright mm -hmm. it's not like burn your eyes bright but they're bright Went from near complete darkness to an IMAX level. Uh, and I... then Tex just, pff, the door flies open, and Tex launches out with the crawler, the truck's rolling slowly, and just <laughs> to the cave. Do I hear him coming? You can see him coming, probably. She's gonna open arms. Stops, like, like moves, like, near, like, a pretty high speed, and then just dead stops right before it would impact you, because that is a lot of weight. She's gonna give him head pats. 
just the as the motor servos were a little bit as the head goes up and down some. You are so good. Everybody, you have found them. Yes. I'm putting everything back in the bag. Okay. Well, they're getting in the truck. Uh, out between Barry and Schmeet, how are they? How do they look? A little rough. And you can, yeah. Both a little rough sounding, it seems like. In terms of, like, who looks rough? rough? Yeah, who looks um... rough? Bloodied question mark? Oh, yeah, sure. bloody. Are you into right, right fucked up? Literal one fourth think... of my health. I say I think, I if I'm understanding right, Barry may be a little worse off, but I may be wrong. Yeah, I'm. I'm just under uh, half. Yeah, then Barry looks worse off. And Schmidt doesn't have a shield, right? Not currently, I don't think. Okay, Barry. This may sound yeah. weird. Okay. I can punch your shield. And give you a little juice back. All right. I stab a shield, I might break it, but I can give you a punch. All right. I'm up for it. The, sh the shield would be regenerated by now. You guys have been driving. Yeah, yeah no, that, no, that's what I'm saying. I want to punch his shield to use my healing smite. <laughs> oh, to help out Shmi. Okay. I can, I can just give it to Barry because Barry looks worse. I just can't. I don't want to punch Schmeet because Schmeet. Oh, I, heal, there, I see what you're saying. I heal the damage I do, so I need I need to hit a target with a shield. Other. Yeah. The extra effect thing, I remember. Yeah. As you channel that through, go ahead and roll that. Ro like roll your, have the help back from that as the shield just PD. flashes. Okay, you get... Do I get modifier back with this? What is this? Is it the entire damage dealt or just the smite damage part? It's 2d8 uh, plus crit. Yeah. Okay. That one's that one's for that effect, yes. Yeah, so 2d8 plus charisma. You guys so get to get in the truck as you guys watch. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, okay. And then... <laughs> Tanya just... Wham! Punches a shield. <laughs> and you get 14 health back. And you I visibly you see some of Barry's wounds heal. Shmeet. All right. Shmeet, mm. have five health back. From just channel healing. Yeah. All right, uh, as you guys, are you guys getting in the trailer too to warm up some? Um, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll say... Clay at this point will flip the lights off and get in behind you guys. It's a little crowded, but he's getting in. He's like, all right, guys, so what are we all doing now? Just as a seeing where y'all headed. We got a bully mong to kill up north. Yeah. He's got our guide and my sword. And then we also need to go and take a rest. But we kind of don't have a bit of a chance choice to rest right now. We have to go and get the guy. To guard. Or we just go to the south and completely ignore him and go away from the people who are chasing us. We've already that paid true. that. Yeah, but they went that way. Just to uh, add in a bit of a pickle here, but we just came from the south to run from them. If we're going north, I can south, take you back to north, the south. Shall we go. East? I guess? All right, uh, to toss it out here, I'm happy to take you guys part of the way, but I do need to... I did have that rune I was coming here to visit. That's part of why I give you guys the ride up here. It's also yeah. it also might help us find the guy that Barry wants. Also, don't forget, yeah. Tanya, your sword. Yes, yeah. Oh, I know. Uh, Barry, if we find this guy, is it a... Is a kill on sight situation, or do you gotta, you gotta have words about it? I mean, hopefully he has what I need on him, but 
If you gotta kill him, you gotta kill him. Don't maybe try and beat him to. Where try not to kill him, maybe tie him up. Okay. Yeah. If it happens, it happens, but I prefer asking a few questions, but. Yeah. Okay, so how's everyone feeling? Nessa? Crystal? Cold. Yeah. Scoots away from the heater. Pat's pats down next to it. Oh, I think Nessa may be draped on Tex. <laughs> yeah, she's holding on to Tex. How are you, Crystal? I also go sit next to Tex. Fair. But, uh... What happened? What do you mean? The whole situation up there. A building fell on me. Mm hmm. No, I. That I remember that part. Throwing at you too. The 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 lance okay? part. Oh, they're after all the sirens, and her in particular. Uh, they know jerks. where she is. They're jerks, yeah. We had a member, we had two members of our group actually go and join them, and they've been hunting us since. Real fun. I think there could be more to that than we know. Well, I mean, unless he says something, it's all it's always going to be. Yeah, find him, bring them all down. Tell us that's the only other way she's going to end up happening. No yes, it... Yeah. I mean, that's how it's going to have to go if he doesn't... Something doesn't give. Axe. They had a... They had a scaly thing in the back of that truck bed there. I don't know what it was. Kind scaly thing. Big scaly thing. I don't know, maybe like giant lizard or something. Never seen anything like it. Fine. All right. But there was hey. a there was a guy shoving something into his cage. So, is that? Maybe he's just feeding it. Um, they're mm -hmm. using it to track us. I think. Did you know that? No, specifically, they're using the track on meat. Like a tracking lizard. And <sighs> how do you know that? Are you still looking at you kind of weird? Um, Bertrand told us. And yet believed him? Why? Did he well, give he you anything else to go off? they were tracking meat smell. And meat is kind of smelly, so I can believe that it would be easy to do that. When did you talk with Bertram? Um, Another wonderful question. Remember when the building fell on us? Yeah, he managed to sneak up on me. It's weird. He was invisible. Oh, and for- Still, what uh, Tanya, this is a guy who betrayed us to the, uh, lands, actually. <sighs> betrayed actually, us is such a strong word. Us actually... Well, I mean, he's the one who convinced us to go right into their stronghold. At which point he then- him and Jethro just went over to go and talk to the uh, base commander, and all of a sudden they're trying to attack us and uh, capture you too. That's me. Jethro convinced us to go to the stronghold. Nope, that nope. one was that I one think. was Bertram and them. Yeah, that's Bertram. <laughs> I remember yeah. he needed to talk to. He wanted to yeah, talk to Bertram. Bertram and Jethro. Yeah, he did pull Jethro and Bertram specifically aside when they got there. Yep. A, re a recap for Thaddeus, I I know uh, however you interpret it for Crystal. Jethro was the one that broke stealth because he has clunky armor and basically tripped over a rock. And Yeah, he failed the stealth and, check. And got, I felt he failed the stealth check and got it and alerted them to you. It was a case of basically he saw, oh, they, they're armored as fuck and pretty much raised his hands. And I remember then we were speaking up on them, and they just weren't speaking up on them, and you were talking to them. Yeah. 
Yeah, he failed a... Yeah, you guys watched him fail a like, trip over something, clank against the wall, and then he had to step out when they heard. Because they commanded every, somebody, to, whoever that was, to step out into the open. And, Je and Jethro is not a negotiator. And Bertram said that they're good people, so we believed him. And he just to go off with them. I said they were bad people. That you did. And you're rather obviously right. But yeah, that was playing with Jethro. Yeah, that I was a lot. Yeah, that that was that was just for the reminder of Thaddeus of the case of he was the one that got alerted, and then he got called out aside. His was more the case of oh, they're probably gonna murder us if we don't. Okay, yeah, let's just comply. Yeah, but the very least, Jethro isn't actively leading the land right to us time and time again. Uh, you guys don't I mean, know either... about... what? You guys don't know anything about what Jethro's doing. Yeah, no, aside, we don't. Aside from Barry said, or aside from what was said to Barry of basically, hey, not trying to actively betray you, but this is just kind of my job right now. <laughs> yeah. It actually wasn't it something about how he's uh, maintaining the buildings and messing and making things. Uh, he's basically just uh, he's doing his job of being an engineer. It's like he likes to make yeah. stuff that blows up, and they offered him a job to make stuff that blows up. So, yeah, and honestly, that's not that bad. As opposed to Bertram, who is apparently, as far as Barry knows, which is easily disproved right now, he's just betrayed us completely and utterly, and is uh, trying to lead about. You two getting captured. Just me being... If Bertram wanted to catch us, or kill us, or do anything to us, he would have done it by now. Yeah. Well, he's, he's so competent in their them. mind. It's amazing. Hey, let's, let's not loop this argument again. That was just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is in character, I, what I'm saying. Okay, I, 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 see, I was... snuck up on us. I've been trying to convince you fuck... Hey, everybody yeah. settle down for a second. Um, what were you trying to say is crystal, please? Okay, yeah. You... Uh, I had a sentence. What was I saying? You were saying... Uh, you said he that snuck up when Bertram he was invisible. wanted... Bertram is snuck up on you and invisible. And if he wanted to kill you, he could have done it then. Kill or capture, he could have done it then. That was a sentence, or do you have more to it? Probably more to it. I had more to it, but... Can you think about it? That is... I lost the second half of this. Got a bag. Well, you, All right, well, you, so... Well, you guys are talking to Tanya's just going to raise her hand. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll let Tanya... This is... Oh. Wait, wait, so in the middle of all of this, again, Nessa's hand racing is contagious. Yeah. Nessa, Nessa's going to raise her hand. So Nessa and just... Tanya are raising their hands. In sync. Yes, yes, Nessa? Yeah, Nessa. Nessa's so, is going to reach into a bag and she's going to give Barry his his calm. Thank you, Max. Thank you. How do you try to be slow? You don't deserve There's a message on here or something? Sire Barry not. looks and starts the messages. Wait, how does he have Sire? If you want to check in for messages, yes. You can check and you can literally, you can see the messages that I read off earlier. I think Why I would... infected him somehow. I don't understand what happened to him. I actually have a partial answer on that one. Cool. Anything would help. Uh, so it's proven in the past. We had a couple show up. It's not a perfect answer, I know, but normal people have been empowered by sirens in the past. Do you keep a watch for any uh, issues, though? Because I found a couple records of them. I've turned it into a solid chunk of Iridia. Oh, is it kind of like how I turn people into a rack? Uh, no, they slowly crystallize from internally exposed outwards and turn into Iridia. Well, actually, it might be. I don't know much about your power too much. That sounds painful. I wonder, I wonder if he gets a kidney stone if he'll piss out a little Iridium chunk. Yeah. That is beyond me. So I, you okay, might have done something similar and panically enhanced him. Yeah. So I relay all of Bertrand's messages that he's laid out on here, that everyone is actually on the same page instead of 
somebody okay. trying to go and keep okay. all the things to himself. So but we all know he's a devil agent. Hallelujah. Move on. <laughs> what y'all doing then? Also, what was wait? What was Tanya's raised? Tanya? Yeah. Is Tanya's hand still raised? No, that was asking why he was invisible. Uh oh. So right or wrong, doesn't really matter if that's what Bertram's doing. We're probably going to try and get a little bit of rest if we can till then. Oh, Alright, so y'all gonna sleep on it. I'm gonna do simpler. We should get a bully mon coat in the morning. Fresh Let one. me know whatever you guys plan on doing to see if we can line it out to head and give you a ride a bit further. I still think we should go off to the ruins, but... That... Well, Imon got our guide. Yeah. Hopefully he's still alive. Uh, I wonder if we could assassinate the head of the ancient people. One step at a time. Well, I mean, just as a general goal. I mean, if we, if we go and kill the, uh... Lady who's in charge of ancient right now... Am I going to make you go elsewhere? Maybe that's Bertram's big goal. Get promoted, get up close, and then just kill her. Maybe that's his endgame. I mean, I'll be honest. I think Bertram's idea is very fanciful and convoluted, and as he's seen way too many spy movies. Well, at least she has some semblance of a plan, which, I mean, it's more than we got right now. If it's working, it's working. He's in there at the moment. Well, I mean, he's not dead yet. They haven't killed him for betraying, for betraying them yet. So, I mean, he, at least he's a somewhat good actor. For fuck fooled me. But why didn't go and tell me this when last time we saw each other face to face? I'd already killed his little buddies. When he could have just flat out told us. Probably Dad, thinks they he's got fucked him or something. Why do you think that? <laughs> you think that he thinks that he's bugged or something? That's what Probably. I forgot. That was going to be my sentence opener. Shit. You know, his, you know, you know, his armor, his armor, his guns, you know, anything like that. Probably recorded that stuff while he was naked so he could, so he couldn't be bugged. <laughs> well, I mean, he could probably go and check his stuff to go and see if there's any bu obvious bugs. But I mean, well, if you uh, check if, if those you cameras. don't know what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be hard. Yeah, and you don't I mean, really want to get caught because he could get killed. Well, on the other hand, if you're just doing, looking like you're doing, you could probably make it look like you're doing basic maintenance on your equipment. So you could do. Uh, yeah, you definitely wouldn't be able to get removed. To look for it. But but what if he got something like new armor and they like sewed it in or something or like put it really deep, you know, like somewhere um, that wouldn't be like basic maintenance, like they kind of made it into it, being suspicious, I don't what know. What if they put a chip in his brain that will explode his head? Well, well what if it does happen, I mean, uh, we what might as well go and kill the poor man and put him out of his misery, but I don't think that's happened. I don't that think he's been out of it. He's been chasing us too much for it. I've already had brain surgery. Ness is going to raise her hand. Yeah? Go ahead. Yes, Nessa? They have... Very skilled scientist, the one that put a bug on my stuff, not the best, but <laughs> I would assume that it would be really hard for someone who doesn't know to look for a bug. I mean, Crystal didn't even know what a bug was. It's a spider. Six legs. It is a spider. Yes, I know what one is, but I mean, if you told me to find one, I couldn't find it. I don't know what one Exactly. I point at Tanya. That is that is the average person's knowledge of spyware. Just turn to look at exactly. Crystal. Exactly. Most people know, don't you know, know what a bug would even look like. You didn't know what a bug is? I know what a bug a is. Y'all watch Clay pull a couple of your plugs out of a drawer, push them in, and then lay back down. And in the meanwhile, uh, Matt, how's my uh, road? Just, you know, I was just cruising? to get to you once they finish their talk. Well, I was gonna send a text me and like a test message if I was just cruising and it looked like I could play on my thing. They're <laughs> trying to drive and navigate right now. If you have a chance to, you have a, I can let you make a sleight of hand check to send a message that would drive about now. I don't even know if a sleight of hand is necessary if it just looks like I'm fucking around on my device, cause, you know. It's just, uh, I know it doesn't seem like it, but there's a reason. Okay. 
It's the lizard. It can see you through the slits. You're right. It has a camera off of, like, uh, the Jurassic Park. It has those head cameras. 24. Birch. Bertram in the back 24. seat. Okay. He's the little forked tongue flick through the window slit. He just licks the back of his ear a little bit. <laughs> 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 there. There's my message, Matt. Relay it. Relay it in excruciating detail. <laughs> um, Barry, your yeah. old echo device goes off. Ah. What does it say? It says, test, signed B. Test, signed other B. <laughs> Is that what you sent back? Yes, test, okay. signed other B. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get back. Thanks. <laughs> that better be oh, going through Matt. Spy? He has to have a chat log of this. <laughs> I have, I have this one. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna have to start writing this shit down and sending it back to you. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna turn your chat into the chat log. No. <laughs> It'd be too hard to find. There. Chat. Like, I'm no spy. I don't know what could be suspicious of the Thanks. scene on there. <laughs> What it say, <laughs> What's the thing? <laughs> I think it's from Bertram. He sent a thing called saying test. I guess he's seeing if we're listening. So I said them test from other B. So, uh, next up. Get... Oh. On the topic of uh, spyware. Could you check this out and see if there's anything in the software about it? I can blow things up. I can't. I, I don't uh, know. Nothing checking about that it. device would have been part of what you did already. For like the no, software. no, no. So. Oh, software included? I had Nessa do. She said she wanted to search for stuff. I gave her a full search for stuff. Okay, because I, mean, I know she did uh, the hardware, but I don't know if she did software. Software in this world isn't exactly the most advanced for tracking. Physical Let's stuff is more likely to occur. Awesome. Okay. As long as it's not just sending a copy of every text we go and take. Tessa, you or... examined it. When Barry asked that you examined it, you're fairly certain it's pretty safe. All right, I'm going to assume pretty she good. just says that to me as well. I'm still making okay. the assumption until Matt explicitly tells me, no, it's not monitored. Stop this. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to find a way to check. I can't. <laughs> I know. You've got, you've got a Jethro if you ever go back there. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't risk it's it not, for him as well. But it's not, it's not monitored. But um, I planted an explosive device in there. Why? I will offer the fun <laughs> reminder for everybody having a talk that it is currently like 3 a.m. and you guys got interrupted in the middle of your long rest. If you want to finish that off without going super late into the day, you probably should settle down for the night. Yes. Curling up next to the heater. Sleep well, B. I send. I'm going to assume there's a rotation of watch. I may be wrong. We're in a van. I didn't get Fair that enough. Message. In a van in the middle of nowhere. I'm still taking watch, because why not? Yeah. Fair enough. Make a perception. You've got a text. And a Rex. So we gotta take in a Rex for it. So also, before we get a long rest. Before bed, yeah. I'll dump. I'll just dump the rest of my healing into people who look the most injured. I guess there. that's just one. I guess that's just one for Nessa, Schmidt, and Barry. And there. oh wait, I had four points. I can give one to Crystal as well if she wants it. So I don't need it. While you guys are sitting there for your watch. And getting started to get some sleep, we're gonna flip over to Bertram for a minute. We get up first. So, you guys drive around for a little bit trying to find a navigate. You're not finding a lot of good ways. You find out you're following a bully mong. You were following probably the wrong bully mong. You find a decently large adult bully mong, but nowhere near the full sized one that tore through the town. 
And eventually, Brewer is just like, all right, I'm calling it for the night. We've been driving too long. I need sleep. <clears throat> and pulls over, and you guys eventually find a spot to pull over, sidle down for the night. Basically, everybody's going to be sleeping inside the vehicle, just leaned up in their seats probably so they can stay warm. Now, I'm probably not exactly the most well-versed in bully among societal things. <laughs> You know, probably not, considering this is probably the first time you've seen them. But, uh, whenever we're at the other area, probably after the other smaller bully mong gets shot a bunch of times, just look around for evidence of anything very large. Not find it, assumedly. Or do you want me to roll dice? You're not gonna find much super large over here, unfortunately. Okay. You'll take a look around. Lodi will help you a little bit. So then, before we head off to wherever it is that he decides that we can hunker down for the night, I am going to state. Must have switched directions on the ice. That's Must have. Around somewhere. Bully mongs are a little tricky sometimes. The hell was it doing in town? What was, what was the, with the explosion? Any theories? I was running around and I did see that smoking gas tank. Somebody might have shot at it and set it off. Yeah, but how does that connect to giant fucking monkey thing? <laughs> I don't know what it saw. Something could have brought it in. Could have caught people. Could have been some bodies. Okay. Will among wants food? It's gonna get food. Come tomorrow. Do we want to head back to the village? See what the fuck who got taken? And maybe see if we can start at the base and find a way from there. Either that, or try to find some bigger tracks. But that ice field isn't exactly but, uh, friendly for that. No, nah, not with this wind blowing. It's gonna blow those tracks away quick. I'll head back to town Luckily, and help with the we got an asset, and she looks shady, looks at it kind of iffy. Like, I may be hesitant with it, but it may be useful. Perhaps. But okay. I'll and make mentally at this ready. moment, you guys are out on the walk still. Like, you guys keep walking a little bit, and you're a little bit away from everybody right now. And she's going to keep walking, and as you turn away, you're just uh, going to hear, So, where were you, Bertram? And what were you doing over there by all of them? There by them being the crane thing, right. That's the only place I turned up at. You turned up visible at the crane right next to where their stuff was. I needed to get over to what the hell was happening, and apparently I can do some invisible jaunting. Well, invisibility is a nice little note. Pretty useful skill to have at hand. I didn't see so, where the hell Crystal went, but I saw Barry and Schmeet jump off the side. And then I was able to take some pot shots at the siren that was going down there. Just mildly curious, you were over there and I caught you popping up around them and nothing seemed to happen until I did anything. I was, happened, Bertram. I was climbing up on the crane. Make a deception check. I'll give you advantage, because you were climbing on the crane, and that part's true. I was climbing on the crane, and it's really hard to climb sometimes. It's cold. My fingies were icy. <laughs> uh, 23? A long climb for a crane. That stood is a little tricky out here. I never got the chance to ask how you felt about that. Hunting down people you were working with. I'm not a fan of it, but I don't have much of a choice. It's 50 50 on that. No? It's never a good excuse when I hear it. I never had a choice. It's not. This is where I'm asking you now. Are you going to hesitate if when it comes time to help deal with them? I don't plan on dying because somebody else can't go through with it. I don't plan on letting you die. It's not quite an answer. If 
you're asking whether I'm willing to bring them in, I am. Like, what exactly? How far are you trying to delve here, Lodi? Just checking. Been in this game too long to die to somebody else who has half measure, has half a mixed feelings on going through with something. I had that exact Especially same experience. Especially when we're dealing with two sirens. I don't want to be splattered across the wall due to one of them going fucking haywire. I had the, you hesitated when it was time. I had the exact same experience back on Promethea before all this shit kicked off. I was assigned on a team with Crystal to hunt down a siren that, gone rogue from, that had gone rogue from Anshin. We were protection detail. Shit went wrong. Crystal couldn't pull the trigger in the time. So trust me. I know where you're coming from. Is this the result? And she nods down at the, like, all of you and, like, the slight glow bits that you know where it lights up. Yeah, life of constant hunted on buttfuck Pandora. You have the curious question of hmm. it's a whole situation that actually has a lot of questions raised to it. What siren were you hunting that you ended up with her? Because I thought you just said you were hunting a siren as a siren. Her she wasn't. Yet. That doesn't track. When it died, when she died, it something fucking weird and magical happened. Crystal got all magic-y, and then all of a sudden I was flung halfway across the planet. Directly in front of the CEO, or fucking that purple-eyed bitch of Anshin, by the way, if I may say so. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Cool. Persuasion check. Roll dice. Haha, uh -huh, it's the same number. 22. Hmm. Well, that raises some questions, but I think for the night we should probably retire back and get some sleep. It's going to be an early morning for us, I think. And it's going to involve talking with people. Talking with Pandorans. Which thus far is either mildly pleasant or they try to shoot you. Yeah, that summarizes it. And they'll head back to the van. Uh, both of you'll head back to the van, I assume. Though, admittedly, getting up that broken road is gonna suck. Oh yeah, you probably know you're gonna have to take the crane. Yeah, but we have to motion to get somebody to work the crane. <laughs> <laughs> you see my problem here, God? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, everybody sleeps. You hear some creatures throughout the night crystal before you finally settle down some roars nothing seems to have occurred yet yeah, nothing gets too close overall it's a more peaceful night on pandora for you it'll sound like before eventually you drift off to sleep too but in the morning tanya you wake up a bit earlier than most of them to a, like a kind of like crackling sound, staticky sound. I'm gonna leave the. It's I'm gonna leave the. I echo device. Oh, great. And you hear like a bit of a and a frozen as you try to put it together. And listening, you hear very broken up, but the voice of the guide from the night before that was taken. Eyes pop open a bit more. So I. Track. Drifting. Where? Are... Send back if possible. Gonna try. As you. Go on. Sorry. Nope, finish yours. We're gonna try and come on the way. Kill the bully mong and get you back. Rick. 
can't and it cuts out some more um maybe they're in a cave that makes sense for a giant billy mug right shake whoever's next to me let's roll a die Clay and Ernessa. Nessa. And then Clayton. Okay. I'm actually probably just shaking each of them. <laughs> just reach your hand hand direct to both directions. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Clay and roll over. <laughs> Guy just called me. He's alive for still. Uh, heard words of frozen and a lot of static. It might be in a cave somewhere or drifting on ice. But he's still alive. Do you think he'll be alive in the morning? It is the morning. Nessa rolls back over. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, probably not. Might be frozen to a wall or something. I don't know. What's just Clay's fumbling around in the cabinet that he was like leaning up against to sleep because the whole thing's crowded in here. Pulls out a cup <laughs> and just goes about like uh, he's going to start his morning rituals. Got to get some coffee in him. We're going on a bunny uh, That's your guys' this morning until everybody slowly wakes up. There is coffee scent running through. If that is anybody's trigger to like, um, trigger to wake up. Coffee. Coffee. Coffee berry. <laughs> <That's> coffee. <laughs> and there is, in fact, a pot of coffee. Was that actually a long rest? Yes, you guys finished a long rest. Oh, good. So, we're uh, at full health again. Everybody can slowly rouse. I will say Bertram, for sake of expediency on that one. You guys will rouse up a bit pretty early. Brewer with bloodshot eyes, sipping what you can smell from... You can... You get a taste of caffeine from where you're sitting in the back seat for whatever he's sipping on. As he fires up the cargo van, the armored van. Is it enough to where I don't have to worry about my own portion? Uh, it's almost like you're almost just already awake from that. All right, then I'll be fine. Just a pure bitter smell. That coffee could wake the dead. You're pretty sure if you poured that in a corpse's mouth, it'd sit up and go, Oh my god. Where would Matt has to describe things since he can't smell? I side-eye a nearby bully mong pile, because they always have skulls in them. <laughs> you want to try? I just want to, like, give it a half glance, make sure that there's no waking the dead. There's a skull in it. I know. Is it, is it shattered? Think for a minute as you realize it just starts to... Twist. I'm just tired. We're leaving. As you watch, no, it starts no, to twist. Go, and then... No, no, no. We're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes you way too long until the vehicle gets moving and everything for you to realize it's just part of the ice drifting. <laughs> Weird things happen out there on the ice sheets of Pandora. You think you had it rough, tell me. I went down all the way to the frozen lands. Is this really the best program to be playing on the radio when we're in the middle of the tundra? <laughs> I am driving on three hours of sleep. I'll listen to what I damn well need to stay awake. Chapter two. It's people talk radio? <laughs> <laughs> Chapter two. <laughs> I was pinned. My leg was freezing. Holy, okay. But I knew what had to be done to get away. Let's see where this goes then. <laughs> and then the Bolimong winked at me. <laughs> and it was on. I don't think I like where this is going. You don't. You really don't. 
or from just an uncomfortable car ride. 50-50 chance that either goes horror, violence, or intimate, but I guess we'll never just know have, as the camera just cuts have away. The handler, handler next to you just like looking everywhere but forward at any, like, but anywhere but making eye contact with anybody, like, uh, uh, uh. Hang on, wait, does everybody in their car look uncomfortable? No, Lodi looks tired and exhausted with what's happening. Tired to the point of can't see Hoyle's face because of the helmet. Is he actually just asleep sitting up? I will say, something occurs to you. Two things occur to you, Bertram. Hoyle can either A, be sleeping and have his armor locked up in place, or B, have shut off all sound into his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> and you have never been more jealous, probably. As we shift away from grunting noises coming from the radio, <laughs> back to the other group. <laughs> Everybody slowly rouses up. Currently, Clay, uh, Clay, uh, Clay is out cooking something on a fire he managed to start. Outside of the thing or inside it? Outside. <laughs> Don't start a fire inside. And you might have a kitchen. His old trailer. He has a hot gonna plate. go up to Tanya. Do you know how did you hear his voice? Or is he just I... dead and that's a ghost haunting you? Echo communicator. Can ghosts go through echo communicators? This is Pandora, probably. 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 Anyway, can I track the signal? Sure. I was asking uh... DM. Something you would know, uh, tracking signals for an Echo device is a pain, a royal pain on a good day, especially when you, um, with the need to access one of the hubs, like one of their center uh, transmitting points. Just tracking it from out here in the middle of nowhere, not a great chance unless they've actively turned a signal on. Have they actively turned a signal on? Do we on? know if they have? You can try looking. I Maybe. can try looking. I might have a um, on or something. I believe you have thieves or a hacker's kit, correct? I have thieves kit. I believe you can use that to make make a check with that. It I will can use try, but I can't guarantee anything. Play what? It will use your intelligence instead of your dexterity. So it'll be a plus. You eight. don't of the base one. You don't want me to just use my thieves kit? It is. It's just this isn't a dexterity thing. This is an intelligence thing. So it's not my plus 11. It's plus 8 instead? No, it should be plus oh. 12. Yep, yeah, it'll be higher. It'll be 5 plus 6 is 11. Nope, that's right. Oh, oh you capped dex, man. It? Don't no. understand me. <laughs> I think she specified hers for hacking, so I wrote it down for we wrote it down for her to run off intelligence. Correct. It's okay. I, I have a kit, but I don't know what it does. Twenty-five. You don't can't guarantee it's his, but there is a faint signal that wavers in and out as you work over 30 minutes it blips on a rare occasion and not as consistently as most signals would be it may be a damaged transmitter can i write down the chords yeah what are they farther north what farther north Farther north is the coordinates? Yes. I do not have an exact latitude and longitude for you. <laughs> exact latitude and longitude might be a bit too much for a building. But you have a signal that you can follow and you know the coordinates to send to head to. Well... I did get something, but I don't know if it's actually him or if it's just a random thing. 
But I guess it wouldn't ever hurt to look. Got nothing, right? Well, I guess unless you know we freeze to death. Yeah. Or get eaten by the bully log. Bully log? No, we're gonna eat. No, we're gonna eat that. Other way around. Yeah. Mm, I'm not gonna eat that. I think you can eat that. All right, we'll eat that, and you'll starve. We have a limited amount of food up here. Don't know how long it will be, and it will be fresh meat. I have jerky. That's not fresh meat. Also, probably not good just to live off of that. I've lived off of worse. Says the person swigging a canteen of blood. Flashback to Nessa drinking nothing but energy drinks and junk food. That is worse. Nessa pouring six five hour energies into one cup and pretty sure she saw God while working on that one machine one time. <laughs> it was Peck. <laughs> God is a raptor confirmed. <laughs> But they come in packs, where's the rest of them? Oh god, the rapture has only ever been a spelling error! <laughs> the Pantheon. Vel Velocipaster is coming for you. Oh god, it's an actual movie too. It is. Um, or... But yes, you have coordinates you can, uh, you can direct everybody to start towards if you wish. She's gonna give the coordinates to Clayton. We'll take a... Um... The thumbs up as he's cooking, wrapped in a like a full-on thermal blanket at this point. Hmm. Uh, everybody can get breakfast well enough and easy enough. But the day is yours. You can depart whenever you wish. Yes. See, I was gonna say, unless you guys have something else here in the morning, I do not know. All right. Well, with the silence, as our I'm gonna take the silence as our confirmation, everybody gets up, gets their breakfast, gets their day started, and um, eventually everybody loads up and heads out. Since it's Clay driving, I guess, um, does somebody wish to make the survival check for Clay to navigate this area? Can I do that? Mm. Yep, you can roll for Clay. Yay. What the best survival with everyone here? Well, it'll use Clay's modifier. You just Oh, okay. Uh, I have a four. On the die? <laughs> On the die, I have a four. It just said, use Clay's modifier. Oof. You drive okay. west. I go, okay. why? Why'd you? Sometimes my no, dice no, no. don't like me. Okay. They're not going to get off marker. They have no. a marker to head towards. But. Do we go off a cliff? There is a small problem about that? halfway through the day. As you guys are driving. You guys are driving across, like, going through these large, like, rising up pillars of ice from constantly shifting sheets and icebergs like you can hear them slowly just like these loud cacophonous thunderous bangs and cracks and shatters as ice shifts and moves and pieces fall and break off and others are grinding up on the other uh, grinding up out of the water on top of another shelf of ice <gasps> and then as you guys are driving and you think you're going in one spot you watch as a piece of ice shatters underneath the front tires as you start to slide down and the shattering of ice broke a piece of what was resistance and another one shoots up and smashes uh, um, into the like hitch between the truck and the trailer separating the two for a minute as he starts to the everybody in the truck at the front starts to slide down in it as clay is hitting the brakes trying to get from grip and friction but it's just ice here right now and the trailer starts to roll backwards uh oh. Mm. Here's a good question. Everybody inside that trailer, immediately power is lost. Okay. 
who all would be in the technical up front, and who all would be in the trailer? In I'd the trailer. be in the trailer. I'd be in the trailer. Probably in the truck, since I've got the echo communicator with the coordinates. Well, the coordinates they just plug, he can just plug in and go towards. So probably up there, just to keep it in case we get a call back. We All right. Schmidt. Um, probably in the trailer. Okay, so uh, just you, Tanya, you realize, oh no, as you guys start to go down towards, and you realize you're shooting down into a bit of a ice cavern, new entryways opening up as the ever-shifting ice continues to flow. Oh. Everybody you know, above, kind of... you guys are rocketing backwards into a different section of these icy caverns, it seems like. You know, when you're not being cold and miserable, a lot of this place is really beautiful. He say this calmly as he's like, fuck, 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 trying to hit the brakes as you're speaking of speed. I'm just imagining. Okay, he rolled like... good, so you guys don't crash as you make it to the bottom. Tony's just seeing it. smash think hard and just. Thank you, shields. Everybody in the other one, would somebody in that like to roll a luck check? Nose goes. I go. Not 20! Woo! You roll backwards in relatively smoothly, slide into spot, eventually sliding without flipping or any of that. It's a bit of a bumpy ride. And there's not an orca whale waiting at the other end. No, not currently. Or moose. And you'll hear over the uh, comms coming over the echo net. Fuck. We're, are you all good? We're good. See if we can get this back around and get back on the road. And he spends a few minutes driving around trying to pull it back up. And it won't take him terribly long to find you all. But as he's trying to figure out what to do, he's going to look at it and be like, well, you know, this might be a bit of a problem for us all. This is going to take a bit for me to fix, to reattach. I'm sure Nessa can help you do that. And if you need some uh, more manual labor, me and Smeet can help real good. There. It's not manual labor. It's just going to take a bit. I mean, Nessa can help speed it up, but I don't know how long you guys want to wait. For me to try to get to that guy. Uh, how far away is this thing? Uh, from where you guys are currently, probably about an hour and a half, two hours on foot. Hmm. What'd you say, guys? How long do you think it's going to take? Yes, yeah, good point. Probably most of the day. I'll be finishing up late tonight. Ah. Uh, mm, gotta fix a couple hell? of the wires, refix my hitch. I mean, we'd still be getting pretty late into the evening. So, in other words, what I'm hearing is, you can stay here and fix this. We go out and go and kill the boy Mong, go and get the guide and come back, and then you have it all nice and ready for us. Once I get it fixed, I can head your way too. Oh man! I just gotta spend some time working on it. Hopefully, we are done with that before this evening. If it just takes an hour or two. Well, that'd be, that would definitely be preferable. But yeah. it's going to take me a bit to handle it. As uh, much as I appreciate the help, Nessa, this is just one of those things that might take time to, you yeah. know, bend everything back into spot and get it reconnected. I mean, I guess. If you just and if you want your picture. guide, I don't know how much time you have. Yeah, kind of on time there for me, on I? Let's go blame on hunting. Yeah, let's go blame on hunting. Well, there's that. Is everybody going to follow along to help hunt the bully monk? We're going yeah. on a hunt. We're going on a hunt. I am Mario. We're going on a hunt. <laughs> and yes, Barry is singing this. Eric, I saw that duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I was just checking. Everybody else had ejections. If it's just silence, I'm going to assume everybody's going. going with to help save the guy you already paid. The intrusive, that's the one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't eat the bully malt. <laughs> hey guys, like I told Clayton a minute ago. However long that was. I'm losing track of time here. A bit weird. Yeah, you know. We had a really pretty, just snowy and icy landscape here. A lot of the wind swooshing stuff in the air. Really pretty sparkles. This place is really beautiful if you're not be, be, uh, too busy being cold and numb to the world. On that fun note, somebody make a survival check to help try to safely navigate to the point you're heading. Alright. I can do it. Uh... Most of our group has pretty good survival. I have plus zero. Oh. So I think I'll let someone else do it. I got six. Cough, cough, most of the group. Mm, not me. What do you got, Bertram? Plus um, 70? 24. Maybe inaccurate. <laughs> 24, it's time to skip on ice. Alright. Um... You have a pretty good time of it, avoiding any of the very real issues of like slipping past some of the like shifting ice bits. You look up, go, oh, huh, and you grab somebody and just shift them slightly to the right, and then ice truck just <laughs> crashes down. Is you like that could have been bad? Thanks. I feel yeah, like you need to walk for a few hours. Um, but... I think if it's Barry, that'd be more like Tanya trying to push Barry, and she just slides to the side. <laughs> Uh, you guys continue to walk for a little bit. As you guys get closer, you start to pick up, especially you, pick it up first, Crystal. Like, the brain, like, not brain, like, the loud echoing roar of roar. a bully monk or bully monks. The bully monk. Seems like it might be plural. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. If I ex- Hey, Tanya. Yeah. If I explode, do you think the entire world is just gonna come crashing down on us, looking at the ice? Hmm. Yeah. That's a yeah. good question. Yeah. Uh, a third. It, 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 I, I don't know. Really can't tell how, how thick this ice is at all points. I'd say if you explode somewhere. You should probably move off of where you explode pretty quickly after. Then again, it has to support that giant bully mong. If it can already support the giant bully mong, it can probably support you exploding there as well. Yeah, yeah. Something you guys would note with a 24 is the farther you get, you've been noticing at some of the lower points as the ice shifts, it sinks into water. No explosions. Unless you jump on top of the bully mong and explode on his back. Yes. Unless there's a cave roof, because then that might collapse the cave. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if we're just <laughs> a nice old land with nothing over us, I could then explode. Yeah. Exploding is fun, but it's not fun if it goes and makes things drop on you. Then it's not fun. You know what I mean? Don't deal with explosives too much, but sounds fine, right? Yeah. Don't worry. I'll show you all but about all the different do... types of explosions. It's <laughs> fun. So, but like I said, as you guys approach, you all, everybody does, especially Crystal hears it first, to give the heads up if she wants. Of Broly Mong's up ahead, you can hear a number of them as you get closer to the point, like the general area, at least, of the signal from before. I should give a heads up. Just so we're not blindsided. At this point, I think it'd also be good to note you don't really see stone anymore. It's mostly just shifting masses of ice jutting up, causing ravines to walk through or small bridges to walk across an open like ravine. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if the boy mark took him onto a shifting piece of ice and they're just drifting more forward north. But 
How would you like to proceed? Hmm. Think we can go all stealthy like and sneak up on some bully mongs. Oh, I'll port. I have to try. On ice and out of a lake. We just. I say if they don't see us, we'll be fine if we're not making much sound. Now, if they see us, well, then. That's that. 23 for stealth. Okay. Just a good note for everybody sound itself, like slipping and cracking on ice, might not be the biggest note of fire because, like I said, there's constant rumbling of ice shifting. Yeah, so as long as they don't see us. Sixteen. Twenty-three. Sixteen. If you guys would like to proceed stealthily, do roll your checks. Since they are also, note that if you, also note that if they don't go stealth and we go stealth, does that mean that they're going on ahead of us and being bait? I got that twenty. Don't forget to roll Texas. I have a 19. 17. Tex got a 5. Yeah, Thankfully, this right is... Now. That's true. Tex could have been inside. Ice. Tech should have been inside. Tech should have been left on the trailer. Just be the ball, I will the say, ball. as you guys are creeping up, moving steadily forward, uh, you start to hit this large climbing mass of ice. Almost, uh, how to put this? It's like a rounded, it's like kind of like coming to a point like a pyramid, but it's like rounded where like a cylinder as it starts to come up. It's not perfect. It's rough. Or you can see like tunnels going in and out of the cave as you peek around from one of the uh, shelves that you're currently sitting on. You can see a number of blue longs messing around on it, like climbing in and out around it. And as you guys start to get closer and you're trying to creep past a, a trio of them, kind of like just sitting and doing like picking at each other on the ice tech steps on something and just and they don't notice anything at first until he starts to slide on like scrabble roughly oh buddy no at this point i would let you pull him in if you wish i'm gonna pull him in all right so as it has happens and you do start to pull him in unfortunately that does get the attention of these bully mongs, and they get up and they start to shift to walk around and look around. You're not found immediately, but they are now searching. Can they make an additional so stealth check to try and go back into stealth? Yes, but you have to tell me what do you guys wish to do to proceed forward with stealth? Like to how to avoid them, how to just ditch them, how to distract them, how to get around them? How far away are they? Can I throw a rock? Probably, I'd give them like 80, 90 feet away. Mm. Can we just like shift around to the other side of this Laymong Hill? You're not quite at the big hill. You're coming around one of the shelves to view over. These are just near the shelves as you as well. Okay. Can we just back up some away from view? Uh, if you were to retreat and try to spend some more time to wrap around a different direction, you can also do that. It'll just take a bit longer. Can I, can I throw a rock in the opposite direction? I think we should re do the retreat option. You can also try that. We could do both. I was so stealthy. We could do both. Yeah, we could do both. Yeah. She can throw a rock one way and we could go the other. This is also true. She might see the rock. Hmm. Is there like a ledge or something? Like anything that has like snow that could fall off of it? Uh, I'd say there's probably an area you can see some like very precariously cracked and damaged uh hanging icicles, larger icicles. Is my sniper, is it, like, quiet? No. 
Never mind. Oh, something I could do, but I'd be glowy. Hey, hold on, I'm gonna throw a rock. Because they're animals. And you can also have somebody else throw the rock if you wish to. You don't have to throw it. The strong man, throw the rock. This is gonna Where? hand bury a rock. Do you barely see any snow that might fall down? I'm assuming Ness is pointing out the icicles. Yes. Okay. Barry well, wants him to do so to just... make a strength check. Yeah, Barry's just gonna go for it. I can get to the right thing. Uh, so is it just a strength check or athletics or what? Strength check. Nat 20 plus 4. All right, as you take a second, take a thing, wind up and whoop, lob it as it flies and arcs across the air and it smashes into it. On the other side, icicles drop and you watch as they've been slowly starting to like grunt and sniff and move towards you guys. And then they just turn around and they take off real quick and you guys can now retreat and make a stealth check again. Nat 20. Okay. Seventeen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, natural twenty. All right. Wow. Overall, That's that is enough currently. Forever. That is currently enough. They did not roll particularly well on the perception this time. As you guys treat, take around, you probably probably add another 20 or 30 minute diversion to wrap around and try to find a way in. Are you guys, the signal does seem to be coming from this tall, like, mound of tunnels and ice. And as you guys are actually wrapping around, get a little bit higher so you can get a better view and you start to see, like, around it, the ice sheets around it aren't exactly the most stable, you've noticed. They're moving a lot more than some of them, and they're kind of like shifting back and forth to each other. Sometimes they hit each other, one gets shoved under the water before another slides up against it. Hey, Nessa. Hey, what? You know a lot of stuff, right? Um. I like to think I know a decent amount. So we've been going up north, north further, where it should be getting colder. And we're kind of just over water now. Like there might be something under there heating it up. Maybe the ruins or something. Maybe the ruins have heaters. I mean, if there's something made ruins out here, they probably want it to not be freezing to death. Maybe it's iridium in it. They don't like to be frozen. Maybe. You're welcome to make a nature check if you want to see if there's a natural explanation for this. 17. Or if there is anything for this. 17 plus nature, 17. which is... What the fuck is nature? Intelligence. Intelligence. It was 17. Right. 17. So, uh, sometimes uh, as you get farther north, yes, it is supposed to get colder, and up here it is absolutely fucking freezing. In fact, you guys will be probably making a con save somewhat. Nope, nope, you got a heater walking between you. Never mind. Yeah. Yep. Not currently, so the longer you go without text, the more in danger you will be of having to do that. That's fair. On the other so, hand, it's not working I could do strength here. check and carry yeah. checks, and then he wouldn't yeah. have to do a He's self check. He's distracted into his thing. Cool. But I had, I am strong. I could carry. Yes, so you could try to carry text while stealth thing through this if you wish. But the point of this here is, while despite going farther north, salt water doesn't freeze near as well as fresh water. So oftentimes, even in the frigid north, there's a lot of water still there, even if it's hot layer freezes. If there's a lot of currents, it could force the ice shelves to shift and crack and break, exposing water that's not yet frozen. And if it keeps with regular momentum, not all of the water will freeze, and it'll just push it back under layers of ice that are. Until the top layer refreezes, gets caught in the shifting pools and tides, and pushes it back under again, or above. Resulting in this ever-shifting landmass known as the Drifting Shelf. Good job, Jotaro. Now go hug a dolphin. I tell them However, every single word of that. There's also the possibility of a heat source beneath it that would explain it to you. Even if there is this natural explanation. 
I go and give the full professor lecture worth of words. Every single word of it, I tell them all. Didn't you live in a desert? very smart. Yes. Sebastian talked your ear off and filled it with information randomly because he was bored. And I remembered because I lived in a desert and the cold sounded better than the hot. What do you think of that now? It is like negative 15. Who wants to go up to the ice cube? I'd rather be back in my desert. What'd you say? Who wants to go into the ice tube? I can hold you by your feet so you can go and uh, go further into it. I got the ice climbing tool thingy that I bought. I mean, I guess I could do it then if you want me to. I just been in general out of the group. We got a big ice tube thing to go up and down. Why are we doing this? To see what's inside. The big cone thing is where this is at roughly towards the center of where the signals was coming from. This is also kind of where their signals ping them from. So, yeah. I guess I'll go up. I can go up ahead. I'll do it. Now, just to get a grasp, like I said, it is surrounded by this big open, ever shifting area of it. It's like 250 feet from where you are to the first bottom base of the. I'm hearing Boss Arena. Whole like this is like uh, you guys can see a lot of Bullymongs. This is more of like a Bullymong hive. Ew. Although not necessarily an extreme amount of woolly mogs for how big the area is. So it means, in other words, there's a bunch more that we can't see. I'm wise to your ways. We could go. So, we could go back and kill the little ones and use them as bait to lure out more and start killing more and more little ones. Point. Point. While you guys think on how you want to proceed, we'll flip back to Bertram for a few minutes of you're arriving back towards the town and there's currently people at the bottom of the as you're approaching, you can see the elevator is running back and forth some and you can see there's people at the bottom and at the top dealing with stuff and operating it. Well, I'm glad somebody's down there. Dang it, they don't know I did this. No. They're probably blaming this on the bully monk. Cool. Quick whatever, there's an exhaust fan currently happening behind me that may show up on mic. I apologize. I can't hear it. That's fine. I just know it's there. Fair. I'm also very quite deaf, so I mean, what the fuck do I know? But what would you like to do as you guys start to approach? Be thankful that there's people at the base and then probably watch as Brewer navigates into probably the line that's formed by now, I would imagine. There's not much of a line. This town wasn't too big. You guys get close as they just on like a bunch of a couple vehicles unload off and take off in a couple like directions, mostly south, like south, southwest, southeast in a couple directions. Um, size of the line versus the time it takes each trip, just so I can like gauge a time I have. Like I said, it's not a big line. The trip up takes a couple minutes. So maybe like There's five not really or a ten. Line, though. Okay. I was seeing if I could get out and ask some questions to the people down here, but it seems like that is not in the cart, so I'll hold off. I mean, there's a couple of people around the base of it, like just some people sticking around the town and like helping run and get stuff done. Yeah, but like if it's just... They're not going to, like, as they see you approach, they're not going to just immediately crank it back up. They probably crank it back up like 20, 30 feet so they keep and stop it as you're approaching to see who you are. Doesn't look like it's going to take a lot of time. The questioning is not in the cards. Wait until we get up top. Ah, uh, he's driving. You I imagine he can handle. Blah blah. Uh, you hear him argue. You hear him talk, and you hear uh, shouting out. Which uh, you may not know. Bertram doesn't know, but as everybody else we know, uh, standing on there currently is Bonnie Flynn in his thick coat, uh, peppered hair. All that fun stuff. Today he got some, currently he's got uh, like some of the thick goggles on front over his eyes to deal with the wind and snow being smashed around. And you hear, so, what can I do for y'all today? 
Rio's back. We just need to get up and ask some questions. It's back down. He goes, I'm not too keen on letting any of the lands up right now. Not after all the nights we've been having. What's your questions? And let's see if I, we can resolve them here. Which point Peru's gonna look back to the rest of you, like you and Lodi, like, this is kind of your stuff. I'm just muscle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Well, we're trying to find out exactly what the hell went on last night. There's an explosion and a bully monk's jumping everywhere. You know, we don't know too very well how it got going, but it seems like a bully bong. Bully bongs hit the camp trying to get some food and such. Were they linked with the Normally explosion? The, yeah, somebody shot the tank trying to stray bullet hit the tank when they was near the bully mong. That big frozen asshole. Okay, so just a fucking army climbed up the side in the middle of the night. That was strange. That's fucked up. Normally we don't get bully mongs in that number coming through. Okay. Well, since we got some weird as hell bully mong, I think I saw that they managed to grab a couple people. Did it seem targeted or are they just... Uh, I just got a random list of missing people. Any connections between them? Not really. Like I said, random. It just is odd behavior for that many bully mongs to string together and raid. Okay. That's the oddity here, I think. Not the uh, people gone. They're just random people here trying to make a living. But... Well, a group may have passed through yesterday. Is anything weird happening with them? I mean, could be. We don't get too many people coming through, but we had a couple. Maybe one of them did something? Wouldn't seem so, though. They didn't seem the sort. Nor did I see them do anything funky. Okay. So what the fuck was with all the bully monks? It's what we're trying to figure out. Normally they keep to the north and don't invade. They don't run down on that number. We deal with a couple, like, maybe five, ten, hit the hit up and try to get up the pillar, but we can deal with that. Do you have a more a detailed... the problem. You have a more detailed location of their, I guess, nesting area? I couldn't tell you, this place drifts and shifts all the time. Damn it. We haven't had a need to go after any of them up north, we usually just drive them off. Okay. But they're definitely northward. North, yeah. Okay. I uh, always see many points over where you see like all the like rocky bits and ice bits over there. Like, they always seem to pile out of there, and anytime we go in, we gotta watch for them. Alrighty. Well. I don't want to speak for the group, but the Lance is intending to head that direction soon and maybe we'll be able to take care of your problem. Do our fucking job for well, once, right? I wouldn't appreciate if you helped figure deal with whatever the hell that is. Yeah. That thing was huge. Bigger than any I had seen. Any, like, I don't know, fucking folk tales or things from the region? Not like that. Nothing that's fucking. None of them that are radiating ice, freezing stuff, and. But what about, like, alien know, bullshit? Feet tall. No, there's some alien bullshit up north a little ways. It's currently under. It's currently being taken over by that new bandit clan. Okay. It's about, it's north west, I think. A good ways off to the side of this drifting shelf. Just off of it is where their territory starts. They leave it alone a lot of times. Uh, can you tell me about Technically any of... Technically part of it, but... Can you tell me about any of the weird alien shit? Maybe it's got something to do with this giant-ass bully mong. Shrugs. Fair enough. Oh no. It's is... called an alien shit. Yeah. Is the village more or less... Uh, the town, sorry. Is the town more or less taken care of at this juncture? You don't need any help, do you? We'll scrap by. Alright. And yes. it is good to note, just as a thing for watching this, he's rested easy. 
kind of standing there, but you can see where his hand's resting. There's probably something for him to draw, and the three or four people that were all there were kind of keeping a grip on weapons. Yeah, they're afraid because the people that have been in charge of moving around have been absolute dolts thus far, but I'm handling this, so it's okay. <laughs> Of just you guys kind of showed up and they don't really trust armed forces showing up especially not with your timing of arrival last night okay well unless something comes up we're gonna head west and maybe try to take care of your bully mong problem all of you try to take care and keep yourselves safe okay gives a nod Look around the car. Anybody have a reason um, to go up top? Not up top. Uh, the handler, uh, well, the handler will speak up. Like, uh, I don't have a reason for up top, but while we're here, we could see if we could pick up a scent for him just for us to start following. How fast are they? Very. Okay. Well. Since we're in the car, just kind of roll up the window so the outside people can't hear us. <laughs> uh, They're gonna start cranking the elevator up and that's going fine. higher. We shouldn't need to go up there. He's like, I can get it out, but everybody should probably wait in the car. Well, we should probably get a distance away from town so I don't freak everybody out. Step one. That, but, or, yeah, I was gonna say, there's that. This would just be the best place to pick off and take off with a uh, scent, you know? Yeah. We know they were here. Uh, two places that they probably have went from here are either chasing the bully mong or they're heading toward, let's say, Dakin's place, which sounds like it's to the northwest. You can set so up your dog. we have two very different directions. And we can just go. Or we can try to go to a place first. I can see if he can pick up some here before letting them out, maybe. Because otherwise we're a long ways off with a not a good direction to head, I think. If we're wrong. I know them. Just off our... Yeah, I know. But if I know them, I think that they're more likely to go after the bully monk first. Because at least a couple of them have the instinct of I want to try to help people. So, if we head toward Dakin... We'll have to deal with whatever the fuck's going on over there. But they're more likely to head toward us. But if we just head toward the Bully Mong, we might catch him doing whatever the fuck's happening over there. And okay. also maybe do some oh. good for once in our fucking lives. I could let it out over there instead. If we went ahead that way first. Just was trying to offer a bit of professional opinion on the creature. Well, you knew the scent on it, uh. so it'd have to be let out near here and then you'd go. Because if we're trying to yeah. meet them somewhere, then there's no way that... You see? Yeah. yeah. Let's just, uh, give me a few minutes. They probably won't catch much of a glimpse of it. It's good at that. Just wait in the car, if you don't mind. Van. Oh. Truck. Thinky. I don't know. And Lodi's giving you, if it helps, lo both Brewer and Lodi are giving you that eyes of just like, uh-huh, and as he gets out, they just click lock shut on the door. <laughs> uh-huh, as in pertaining to what, I think. It doesn't seem like they have the most trust in whatever's in the back. Okay, that's fair. But I mean, it's gonna... It was specifically assigned to us, right? Lodi gives the nod of, yeah. Yeah, it was. Let's hope it's not a... So we're not the f the bad guinea pigs this time. I'm not gonna lie, if it heads toward the town folk, I'ma shoot at it. That's fair. Please shoot at it with me. <laughs> that I can do. Cause it might get really mad and like, go for my throat. <laughs> well, let's watch this. Yeah, I'm let's curious. do that. Um, I try to watch. As you look at the back, it's dark in the back, even with the slits, and it's hard to make make out what's happening. Do you make a perception check? We peer with our eyeballs. Kept shaded on purpose. Sixteen. Sixteen. So you get the glimpses of the scales. You see what seems to be bipedal leaning forward. 
and at first it doesn't seem huge like it seems like it's laying down right now and then the door opens up and you get a bit better glimpse with the sunlight coming down and you see a ripple of cross of like dark mottled green scales arching up to a fate uh, arching up to an elongated snout of some kind tail like wrapped around as it's laying down and then its head like slowly sides out to where you see um uh, handler Bron Henry Franz pulling the door shut so it's a bit darker as he leans forward and slides some kind of like piece of cloth or something up forward and it just like starts to move and nuzzle around with it before he steps out of the way for a second and throws the door open and you watch as it slides out into the sunlight and you get a brief view of this bipedal bit crawling out arms like a bit more along where it can walk on all four as it needs to and it slips around into the snow you guys watch as the scales start to ripple and train from a mottled green to like an off similar white and quickly slip almost out of view of you you guys watch the sides and watching carefully you can catch visions you can catch sight of it moving as its scales shift ever so slightly again and again when it matches rock instead of snow and as its claws scrape across the ice hey driver yeah we should be following that it's not taking off yet and um I don't know if I can follow that driving And then Franz opens the door, goes to open the door, and it's locked. He's like, please. Now we didn't need the lock. <laughs> <laughs> Gets back in. All right. And he pulls out a small tab, like a small like shape of like an echo that screen and put, reaches forward and like mounts it on it. And you can see a bit of a beep, like a blip. So you can follow it as it just suddenly see a of snow as it takes off at a high speed and its tail snaps back behind it from its churn and throwing all of that and it just races off into the tundra also for some reason i thought it was already like moving off in a direction i wouldn't have said that i apologize no that's fair it was like walking around the vehicle in the base of the area it's like well follow the gps look like, all right and he Hits it, and you guys start to drive off after it all. Back to the other group. What's the plan for the shifting ice field and getting how you guys want to proceed? We now live amongst the ice. We shall <laughs> forever be stealth creatures. One of the ice, part of the ice. He tunnels oh, into a decently wanna... sized iceberg. You guys want to kill some of the smaller bully mongs, see if we can lure some stuff out first? I mean, how going. many bully mongs are, can, could there possibly be here? No idea. Any mouth cap plans? Kill them all. Have Very strugs. Yeah. Or we could just keep going and try to find the guy. Yeah, let's go in the hole. That's one of the two things I said. Yeah, but we have to go past them to get to the hole. But why do we have to kill the bully moons? Because they're in the way and they'd see us. Also, if we alert the hive, they're going to come back to kill us anyways. It's kind of a preemptive, especially if we can just kill them quick and quiet without them noticing. They'll just be out of the way, or we can use them to lure shit out of there. And if we lure them out of there, then we got a funnel we can start killing stuff from. I got nothing. How many bully mugs do I see, Matt? Milling around, uh, a lot of them aren't actually in the hive itself. A lot of them are on the shelves near uh, around the area away from this. Currently, you could probably pick out individually like 20 to 30 milling around the areas all around and like a couple on the spire itself. The ice hive itself, like maybe five or six, just peeking out of caves, lazing about. Wait a little. <laughs> and you did watch it a couple of times after a few minutes. A number of the bully monks seem hesitant to get any closer to the hive. Ah, huh, neat. So there's big bully monk in there. 
something is keeping them from approaching. I think we could just book it. Yeah, if they're not going in there, I'm okay with that. Nessa? Crystal? Shmeet? Let's just go for it. There we go. Just booking it? Unless Nessa or Krista have objections. Nessa and Krista. I know what I said. <laughs> Spoonerisms occur. We can just go. Uh, Thaddeus, you are muted if you do have any objections. I have no objections. Okay. Right. Thank you for using the word objection. I kind of got it for a second until you said it. I was just making sure you didn't accidentally like double mute yourself and then like turned one off and were talking while muted on the other. No, I was trying to figure out what that word was. was Anti-agreements. Anti-agreement opinions. Uh, decide to matter or something like that as well as last time. All right, look at this. Are you are you making us have checks? You're booking it or? Hold on, sorry, I was answering some, uh, playing something. It'll be an athletics or acrobatics check. So you guys, acrobatics check as you guys race across this field. Sliding on the ice. Keep yourself stable on the ice so nobody goes under. Nobody slips. Nobody Body. falls. Nobody gets caught too far in the open. You just body check boy among out of the way. Yeah, yeah. As for athletics? Okay. Athletics yeah. or acrobatics? Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> Thank God I have a plus seven. Suck at that. Suck at that roll. Sixteen. Is Tex in the Pokeball? 21. Yes. Alright. Everybody rolled pretty well. Me too. Yep. Everybody rolled pretty well. Nobody <laughs> got lower than what was needed. As a couple times it gets a little iffy as some of them start to tilt. But overall your weight isn't enough to fully shift it. And you, you guys keep mounting it the closest we get is the 16 at one point when it starts to like tilt up on one step and it's like oh no 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 and you like take a dig in and jump like run forward a bit more and catch off and use the extra bit to jump over the small gap that has started to form from it before hitting and rolling you guys keep running and you're realizing as you guys are running on it there's an ever so slow spin to the hive not very fast very slow, but it's still there. We're just playing but Fall Guys. As you guys <laughs> run, stumble, slide, and slip a little bit, everybody keeping on their feet very well overall, you guys make it to the base of this and into one of the tunnels. And don't hear any attention being drawn to you. So back to stealth! You guys can roll stealth checks again. Uh, 16. Same. Well, technically it's a 10 plus 6, but I mean... That's 16. 16 in the 11. end. 11. 30, 20. Every time uh, someone says we, yeah. dirty, I immediately hear 30. Yes, 30. Because I'm expecting no. numbers. Oh, okay. Ba, 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 ba. But how else do you say 20 without... 20 total. <laughs> And then, oh, 20 total will work. Or dirty 20. I just started mimicking James, and James says dirty 20. I got a dirty as well. Okay. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> you wash your die off, mister. You guys Maybe start creeping the through the tunnels. How would you guys like to proceed? How would you guys like to navigate the tunnels? Like, what is your method of, like, operation here? You've put more thought into this than we have. It's been... splits <laughs> or something. Yeah, the tunnels are going to start splitting quick and soon. I'm just asking how you guys would like to go about navigating them. Follow. Mm -hmm. Go to the right. Always right. The rightmost path. 
all the way through. Follow my nose. Follow the stenches. Follow the stenches. Don't pass. Follow the stenches? Stench. Where do we Pretty sure a big ass monkey. I'm afraid I don't smell too good. Make a make a make a perception check. Well, he's sniffing. Can I just say something into the echo? Net twenty for twenty-seven. Yes, oh, you right. can, real quick. Was a just into the device contacting the uh, old man whose name I'm going blank on at the moment. All right. Uh, what do you send out? Just. Hey, so we're at some ice spire thingy, and we're in the caves now. Says you should be here. If you can make noise, we could probably find you better. Uh, as you it's... say this, you hear your voice come out from around the corner a little bit. Oh, I've seen him morphed onto the wall. <laughs> and as you step around and look, you see a barely busted up and partially smashed echo device, like wedged in a crack of the wall. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so, like a drag trail or something? Not a drag trail. There's no blood trails if that helps any. Well, wherever Schmeet's nose takes us, I guess. Schmeet, you start to sniff around and you smell a, yes, dirty, kind of smelly and musty ape all over the place. But one part does stand out into your brain from last time. You smell a scent of burnt gasoline and flesh. Mm. That stands out because you remember last night that the big guy was caught in a large gasoline explosion. Would you like to follow it? Yes. As you guys proceed and you're walking along, the tunnels start to arc over and a couple of times as you come up and you realize you come up and you start to open up into these large spiral and like ice bridges interconnecting in the middle over this large pit going down a ways. Just like tunnels going in, you hit a bridge, it runs across, down below there's another one that runs a different direction, different direction, a bunch of intersecting bridges and some couple of blue mugs watching on some of walking on some of them and you'll notice that first of all the smell is down below. It's starting to come from farther down below. Second of all, as you guys are walking, Nessa, due to the failed stealth check as you're watching, you slip and flip and poof, slam hard onto one of the bridges and start to scrabble as you start to slide towards the edge. And grab. Grab. Easy enough. Snatch. Grab. As Shmeet hits you, it anchors you pretty well as you look down as you're scrabbling and you see some of the like, ice strength break off and just <laughs> spread all across the bridge and you're one of the bully monks walking across. Look at these ice What things. are you guys doing? Yes, me. How big of a bully mong is it? Uh, this is an adult one. It's looking around kind of confused. Ah, it's adult. Okay. Can't see us? It's sniffing the air currently. It doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. You guys have can a small moment it? to take. You absolutely can if you wish to. What'd she say? Net. I have a oh. net. Net. How far away is it? Uh, Probably about 40 feet below. Oh, okay. If you wish to net it, you can. I life drain it. <laughs> you can life drain like it. To, if I get it, will it help her roll? Potentially. Mine's an attack roll. <laughs> it would no. The net could cause it to be restrained and give you advantage. Yeah. I would like to net it. All right. You look down as you're hanging over the edge as Schmeet starts to pull you back over. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, Schmeet. Yeah. All right. Um, you look down and make eye contact with Tanya for a second as you notice her arms start to glow and give a nod, and you just look down, you just strike particles, and, and a net, a 40 foot net, just explodes, spiraling out from it. She's, just, she's rolling up her sleeve, the sleeve on the arm she's going to use. What's your DC? 
16. It rolled a 14. Let me see what its bonus is real quick. It doesn't have a bonus. It might not. Hold on, I have to recheck to make sure. I did not have the bully mong right in front of me for some reason, even though I really should have. It does have a bonus, however, that bonus is only a plus one, so a 15. It's netted! As it gets netted, and it starts to, like, struggle and just... <clears throat> and start to, like, bellow and growl real loud. And before it can bellow, you do get a chance to get an attack off with your drain. All right. So... Yay. Thank you for the advantage. That makes that a critical. Wow. And we got seven plus five. So 12 to 24. And just life starts to drain from it. Unfortunately, this is a hardy beast and 24 isn't enough. And as it staggers and just uh, and starts to growl and grunt and groan, and it starts to bellow as it finally looks up from where the net came from and makes eye contact through you as it just echoes through this chamber, this humongous cavernous space. And for a minute, there's nothing. And then you start to hear some small answering ones echo out from the tunnels. And then from down below, you hear a large titanic bellow rattle up and shake all the ice bridges. And for the brief moment, we're going to flick back to Bertram as you guys deal with this ice. Bertram, you get a notice on your Echo device. Uh, it's a message from Lodi. It's a question. Me look. It's like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Schmidt wore tattered and ragged clothing, right? Hmm. Yeah. I think he's got his duster. Message back, yeah. That's a whole jacket back there. Hmm. Would you like to take a look? I would. <laughs> Make a perception check. Or actually, nope, it's not going to say perception to see it. I'll give it to you from your thing. Well, it's down Make my dice. an intelligence or wisdom check Picks to connect the back up my dice. Uh, they're both the same number, but let's use intelligence because fuck it. This Six. is just some rat or tech. This is off of some random fuck. Let me see what would have happened if I used wisdom. Much higher. What's the total? Six. You're not. <laughs> That's okay. I don't know. I think Schmidt wore that jacket. <laughs> Schmidt may have worn that jacket. But you know what Schmidt didn't pick up on? There's a Bunkers and Badass patch sticker to attached into that jacket. That's not that he never. I would have noticed that. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm giving this bit to you. I know. That's why I'm saying. You might have picked it up from your habits, but there is a whole Bunkers and Badass sticker. I mean, a uh, patch sewed into this jacket on the front, like towards like the base of just like a little bit of it all. Gonna send a message back. Schmidt did not understand B and B when I tried to run a game for him. So whoever's jacket that is, isn't Schmidt that you're hunting anymore? And if you have this realization, and the people back at the cavern see a huge ice-covered paw just <laughs> crash against the wall. Do I recognize the jacket? To. Good question. Uh, I was going to give you the tell you of a hint now, but now you have to figure it out since you rolled a six. <laughs> but nobody gonna else was in on the game. Even Crystal was uh, like, nah. But she was willing to try it. So, I don't think so. <laughs> right, no well, kidding. That'll be something to try to figure out. I think we'll see. Whenever this thing leads it to Schmeet, Schmeet and I go... Gotta fix your memory. Need a bike. <laughs> we'll Explaining the, the rules is here hard. as you guys hear the titanic roar shaking the cavern and ice hunks pulled out. And Bertram is left wondering who you were tracking and who you're hunting now. I want to make the bully mong on the bridge a statue and throw it down at the big one. That may be part of next session. We'll see. <laughs> Whenever next session happens. Anything for closer? Two weeks possible. 
Three, two, one. Uh, pausing. I guess Bertram has his uh, memory problem sometimes too. Everybody sometimes oh. rolls a six. I know. It may have so... been due to the horrible bully mong love narration I listened to this morning. <laughs> it killed your brain cells. Traumatic damage. Uh, so after not next Saturday, but the Saturday after the 29th, I am undergoing a schedule change, of which no one agreed to, but fuck mm. us. And I'll be swapping to five days a week from there. So, less openings for Saturdays. So, I don't know how that's going to go or for how long, but... We will see what we have to do. Yeah. Alrighty. My schedule, my schedule updates every week, but after the 29th, I can't see any further. So, that's my last open day on the schedule. People are in a Bullymon cave. I'm going along with it. That shouldn't be there in my brain. I don't think there's anything we need to write on the server message board. So... Goodbye! Bertram looking at the jacket, just hearing Boymong grunting. Wait. What, Matt? I didn't say anything. You said something else. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, <laughs> said something else. I thought, that was I thought I heard somebody boy. say wait. I thought Medina did. I thought someone said bye, so I said boy. Oh, it's a boy, oh, not no. a wait. I've, we dumb, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>